The old lady held the palm of my hand and said to me, Ah, your fate is clear to me, child. <laughs> and what did she say? <clears throat> she said that I would devote my life to the service of others. Oh, I can imagine that happening. Well, I mean, like, that's what's happening right now, to be honest. Uh, the fortune's already come true. You could still die. <laughs> and she said that I'd live until I was a hundred years old. Till a hundred? That's an awfully long time. <laughs> old Rora. <laughs> old Roro. <laughs> A row rolled? <laughs> oh, I see. If the fortune teller was right, then... Then we are definitely walking out of this hall victorious. I'm not quite that old yet. <laughs> I'm 97. <laughs> Day, good people, so I find a year of the resolve to make day Bravo Dave anomaly the Namakars. So, we are here. I don't even have my controller connected right now. I need to go over there and like plug it back in. Um, we're here. It is Fire Emblem Monday, and we have three chapters left. Now, I'm not sure how this is gonna go particularly. I'll be real. I have no idea. Um... If somehow, some way, one of these chapters were able to finish, like, in a relatively clean sweep in under, like, an hour, we'll probably go for it. However, if we don't, <laughs> there might be one more episode. Um, because I have a feeling chapter 22 is going to suck. That's kind of where I am right now. Um, solely because Sai Galero had uh, one one word of sage advice <laughs> for the map that said, apparently there's many reinforcements, and whenever there's a lot of reinforcements, uh, reinforcements, uh, reinforcements on a map, that's when um, things get dicey. So it might be a two a two for here, and then we might do uh, one big old finale for that final map and just really take our time and hey there might uh no there won't <laughs> i was gonna say hey maybe we'll stream that um if we stream it it just wouldn't be on a monday it wouldn't be saturday it could be sunday at like 4 30. we'll see <laughs> it might all get accomplished today but we'll see um we will see. Um, boo -boo -doo -doo, boo -boo -doo -boo -boo -boo. Speaking of comments, so let's go through them from last time in preparation for either today's uh, final or <laughs> perhaps penultimate. Anthony, so if uh, at this point you guys will know because it's, I guess you'll be able to tell from the title. <laughs> Otherwise, uh, there's either two or one left. Sakula says, I didn't even realize the Pegasusters had a dead mom from a younger age. Uh, I, I kind of figured, I guess. It just kind of felt like that was their whole thing since Paula was the one kind of taking care of them. Uh, a good chunk of deaths are more so caused by overextending Paula. That is also true. And I think we were good to do that in the past because we had Paula equipped with one of those orbs and then also the life sphere. Now Paula doesn't have either of those, and it's, uh, not the worst. But we have to, like, start plotting a little bit more. Uh, Dragon's Table in Awakening. Yes, correct. I recall. Uh, any females with Tome- Oh, uh, yeah, I, I realize that. Uh, that wolf hat, I hate it. <laughs> I really do. But Aurora, who knows? Um, Paula is indeed her. Paula, I feel like, has saved us. Countless times. Countless times. Um, but here's the, the worrisome part. Uh, potentially final chapter info. Potentially. Um, uh, Nagi's back automatically. Also, apparently, this map has a bunch of reinforcements, so be prepared for that. Yeah, that's the, that's the kicker. Um, 23 Starlight still required to kill Garnef. Also, wait, hold on. We're killing Garnef in 23, then who are we killing in 24, regardless? Also, if she still had the warp, we could have gotten a hammer and a revival staff, but we're not getting those. Yikes. Unless you hack one in. Uh, we have not hacked this game at all. 
and I'm not sure if there's like any like base stuff to do it and I don't have time to try and dig deep into the game code to, to try and legitimately modify it myself. Uh, <laughs> Uh, let's see, 24 in-game, all bishops are recruitable. I recommend getting all of them before fighting the bosses and makes the fight, uh, way shorter. If you don't, he can feast on them to recover, which is uh, kind of, <laughs> kind of tragic, to be honest, when you think about it. Um, admittedly, don't remember if all of these are alive, he says. Oh, so look, Psy Killer, everyone that we've gotten, actually, is still alive. We've only lost. People that we haven't recruited. And that would just be, um, what's his name? Caster or something? Whatever. Him, and then the two uh, people from that one map who I was like, yo, no, we're not saving them. <laughs> They're not getting recruited. Um, those are the only three that we haven't, like, actually uh, gotten. Everyone else has lived, surprisingly enough. Um, we found a way, which is kind of surprising to me. I'm going to be completely real with you. Because uh, this game <laughs> is not the easiest game in the, uh, the, the world. Uh, Jessica, in here I was thinking this Pegasus sister's father had green hair and their mother was a time-traveling Perry from Bates. Oh, well, I suppose that would be neat too. Uh, I dropped my phone while watching this and shattered my screen completely. A moment of silence for my poor bone. Oh my gosh. Jessica, I'm so sorry. Hopefully you can get a, a new phone or get the screen replaced. Depending on what kind of uh, phone it is. If it's an Android, screen replacement is not the, the the biggest issue, depending on how new your Android, some of those, like, you just you gotta go and get a professional to do it, but, like, um, if it's not, like, a, a, a Galaxy, like, S21, 22, those ones, I think, are hard to replace, or harder to replace. Um, earlier than that, they're not too bad to replace. I've replaced one phone, it's cool. Um, that being said, could also still get a professional to do it. <laughs> or just get a new, getting a new phone is expensive. Um, how come we don't get a swarm book because, uh, sage tomes are for villains, I guess. We care not for such underhanded tactics or what have you. No, I would love one. I would love to be underhanded. <laughs> Give me a fire emblem where I'm the villain. <laughs> Give me a fire, I mean, I, uh, we, I mean, we kind of had that in three houses, when you think about it. If we join Edelgard side, we were kind of the villains towards the end. Um, but really, everyone in that game is kind of morally gray. <laughs> Which is morally great. <laughs> The Binding Shield can still open all chests. Okay, well, that's good. For a second there, I was like, oh, that's trash. Uh, this is something that I honestly know, don't know if I really ever realized. Uh, flyers are unaffected by terrain bonuses. I don't know if I ever knew that. <laughs> it's been a How Many Fire Emblem Mondays. I'm honestly not sure if I ever knew that because I fully and sincerely believe... That was the case. I I thought that it didn't affect their, um... <clears throat> I knew that it didn't affect, uh, based on the negative ones. Like, oh my gosh, terrain bonuses. Oh, we don't get affected by, uh, affected by negative ones. <clears throat> like, we don't get slowed down by, like, sand or whatever. But for some reason, it didn't click in my mind that we also don't get the benefits of the good ones. <laughs> so, uh, we're not gonna talk about that so much. Uh, Excalibur and Aura are sort of like counterparts, uh, counterparts rather, I get you. Uh, Dragon's Altar and Dragon's Table are, and Awakening are the same place, 2,000 years apart, good. That's what I kind of assume. Um, Fire Emblem Sins reminds me a bit of the series, uh, this series, that, uh, Fire Emblem Tuber Mecha used to do called Fire Emblem Pitfalls. That sounds interesting. Uh, my guess for Wyvern spawning from Forts is that they made their nest in the abandoned forest. Okay. I'm here for that. Wolf on a fort, wolf fort. <laughs> Don't cross the series. <laughs> We're not crossing the series. This is, this is. <laughs> I guess well, that's kind of what the AWE does. But regardless, uh, Martha thought he was done with Aurora's sudden outfit changes. He was wrong. He was like, oh, we were so late in the game. I thought we were done too. And lastly, Sonic Gaming says, yes, Asuka, the Empress of Tomorrow, and her three Pegasus daughters. Uh, the most powerful female faction since Damage Control. Now, I'm just imagining a storyline where Asuka and her three Pegasus daughters battle Bailey and Damage Control in war games. Which would be neat. <laughs> I'm, I'm, that would be pretty dope, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, that being said, thanks for the comments, and this may be it. This may be it, and I need to plug this in real quick. <laughs>
and wrap that around. All right. Are we good? Oh, maybe we're not good. Did it not connect to this? There we go. It just took a second. Okay. So I've done that. We still have a couple talks to do. EST and Aurora 3, which is dope. Um... <sighs> if we have a bunch of reinforcements, I don't know how much I want to bring you to, if I'm going to be honest. I need people who can smooth. Um... My thing is, I guess we're going to get reinforcements from the bottom here. But there's also, like, areas to, to step up to here. Anthony Sub didn't tell me what's in these chests. Because usually I try and figure it out for myself, but I don't know if I'm here for that right now. So, what is this? Dragon's Altar was the name of the map? I don't know. Chapter 22, New Mystery of the Emblem. Ah, uh, let me see. <clears throat> Let me see what's in these chests. Without so much as, like, looking at all of the, um... All the map details, because I still like to go into this fairly blind. Uh, let's see, let's see. Nagi, that's right, hello. <laughs> Uh, let me see, let me see. Where, where are chests on this thing? I, I feel like... I keep missing it. Here it is, items. So there's a Worm Slayer, a Dragon Pike, which, well, I'll be honest, probably both very good for this map, and maybe very good for the, the end of this. Fortify, drop by a, a, a homie, and the door key, drop by a sorcerer. Um, yeah, I don't know if I care about any of that, so we might not go in any of these treasure rooms. Um... <clears throat> Because honestly, that's segmenting, uh, segmenting my army a little too much. Because I'd be sending them up in there and up in there, and I don't know if I want that. I don't even know if I want to send people over there. I, where, where do I go to end this map? Ugh, you. Yeah, where do I go to end this map? That's the, that's the big question. We have a save point there. I assume we have to go through one of these doors. Which means we probably do need to, to like, get our door key situation set up, too. Uh, does anyone along the way drop a door key? I feel like the game kind of has that, like, built in for pretty much every map. Yeah, this, honestly, this, um... This, this whole map looks really bad. Yeah, this whole map looks really bad for, um, specifically our, uh, big beefy boys. Because they move slow, so they might get caught from the back, but also everybody here, uh, <laughs> is either a dragon or a mage for the most part. Um, or has a big ol' axe, which is honestly also very bad for our boys. Um, so as much as, uh, the joke has been flyers only, um... That, that might be real. <laughs> that, that might be more real than we thought. Um, that being said, I don't know if we have any more flyers. Huh? He's new. So we can bring one more unit. We've got Militia and Katarina. We have Martha. So you are a paladin, level 12. Now, I don't know if this is a good idea, but... <laughs> Hear me out. She already has a B in Lance. She would lose three resistance? Oh, that sucks. She would gain three defense, but like, the resistance is, is what I was kind of looking for. I don't know if that's the best decision. Anybody else we could reclass though? Further down? I was gonna say, Wolf isn't gonna be able to fly. And neither is Ymir. We could do Yamina, but she would be, like, level 4. Dolph, Shima. I 
I don't know if that's the right decision either. Yeah, now we're just getting, like, too low down. Cecile, we did want to use her. Yeah, I don't think that's the right decision either. Ugh. We don't have to bring that many people. I guess. <laughs> At this point in time, that's, that's kind of my only, like, uh, theory going on here. Can I not do this? Why not? Oh, because I have seven out of six flyers. Oh, that's funny. Okay, well, we can't physically have a flyers only run, so somebody else has to come. Um. Oh, Sirius is coming anyway. Uh, who else has speed? Roche, Thomas. I guess he can come. I mean, I guess you could come. You're not the worst. In fact, you, I think, are better than Sirius in most regards, or about the same. <clears throat> I have to keep in mind that we do need Sirius, though. And I'm serious, bro. Here. Let's do that to start. Um, I don't care about the two chest. Let's do our talking, and then we'll head on. Sir Ymir, we now advance toward the upper levels. Yes, got you, Aurora. Just ask me if you need anything. I'll do my best for everyone. Sir Ymir, you really are kind, and this hat is really warm. <laughs> it's been so cold all over the place, so this is actually very delightful. I have only spent- gosh, I, I kind of hate the mask when I see it completely. I've only spent a short amount of time with you, and I can already tell. Therefore, I must apologize again for my rudeness earlier. It's fine, it's fine. I already know- I already get what you're feeling. You're really nice, too. Mercer has lots of nice people. I'm relying on you, Aurora. Yes, from now on until the war is over. I'm counting on you too, Sir Ymir. I like those two. Wolf, Aurora, talk it out. Sir Wolf, please wait. Who are you? <laughs> I'm Aurora, knight of the Altian, uh, of Altia, rather, and Mart's royal guard. Aurora, never heard of you. I'd be surprised if you had. I'm still unworthy, after all. I've heard the rumors of Sir Yegan, Sir Wolf, captain of <sighs> the Wolf Guard. The strongest and most famous of the Aurelian Knights, serving directly under His Majesty Emperor Hardin. And in the last war, their leader displayed uh, an overwhelming strength at befitting of your position. Yeah. Yeah, that is true. He was our carry last time. Not anymore. I have no intention of being surpassed in the- That's, that's one of the few things that has been uh, canonically correct with our, pla our past uh, run. No intention uh, of being surpassed in battle. Not by you puny Altian Knights. Besides, don't misunderstand, the Wolfgar's strength is not mine alone. It also belongs to Sedgar, my assistant on the battlefield, as well as Roche and, uh, Vyland. And more than anything, it belongs to Coyote, because he was with us. Emperor Harden, huh? I'm not sure what to say. Forget it. Coyote's thoughts and intentions are clear to us. I'll smite the villain who d uh, led him astray, that is all. Okay, well, you might not be coming to that battle. We'll see. <laughs> and then Abel and I started living together after that. <laughs> I was filled with joy since I love him dearly. Love him dearly. Okay, thanks for telling me Abel's life story. If I can replicate it, then surely Paula will love me. <laughs> Oftentimes I felt a little bit lonely uh, because I couldn't see my sister, but Abel was always with me. I'm envious. It sounds like you two lived a happy life or lived happily together. Yes, but but how should I say this? Miss EST? You see, I brought great suffering to Abel. He was forced to portray Altia because I was taken hostage. He's too nice and doesn't think of himself. Because I was there, Abel had to go through such an ordeal. If not for me, Abel would be happier. Miss EST, don't cry. You didn't do anything wrong. Uh, please don't keep blaming yourself. Thank you, Aurora. You're very good at comforting. Are is, is she? <laughs> T. How embarrassing. I feel like a child again. When I was younger, my sister would rush me to uh, rush to comfort me when I cried. Aurora, I feel calmer with you. Uh, when I'm with you, rather. I want to stay with you. Uh, if you believe that I'm worthy, you can find me anytime. It would be my honor. Uh, but I would prefer to stay with your sister. <laughs> Katria? No, you know which one. <laughs> Stop fooling around, EST. <laughs> yes, yes, thank you, Aurora. <laughs> Strength bond. That one's not bad. Uh, we should probably actually talk about the dragon vaulter, though. 
Orbs. This is the Dragon's Altar. The background does honestly look the same as, um... From Awakening. An ominous place, that's for sure. I can hear the roars of dragons coming from somewhere. Yes, it's dangerous to stay here for too long. Once we're ready, let's go deeper at once. Okay, so here's the thing. We're gonna try and make, uh, uh... So, like, in these kinds of maps, you probably shouldn't make a mad dash, but, like... Oh, boy, do I not want to be here for too long. <laughs> that's kind of where I am at this point. I would have to give you weapons. I'm kind of saying miss me with that. You're just going to be a body for a while. Uh, convoy, what do we have for you? I guess you can take a steel one just for, for, for now. Uh, I guess you can also take a sword. Can you take a steel sword? Yeah. Take that. Can you take any other sword? Oh, well, actually, maybe you're not completely useless if you can take one of those. Um... We also get, uh, I need to remember that we get our homie from the start, uh, Miss, Miss, Miss Woman. Uh, <laughs> Nagi. <laughs> I was like, who's that girl? What's her name? <laughs> I do not remember. <laughs> Am I going insane? Uh, Pepper in. Uh, she's got all of that. That's good. You still have a dragon pike. It's not going to be super useful, but it is what it is. Uh, we probably need to give you another silver lance, if I'm being completely honest. Uh, Roro's axe. You have a longbow on you. You don't need it. Uh, do we have anybody in here who can use a bow? Ah, eh, bygones be bygones. We'll see what happens. I guess, hold on, let's view the map one more good time. Uh, because I have not placed everybody where I want them. Well, well, that's not where I want you. I kind of want you further back. Uh, I don't know how good you are in comparison. Uh, 20 defense, 22, 22, 21, 22. So you're honestly on par with her in terms of, like, all of her other stats except for resistance and strength. Uh, if I want more resistance, I probably should hit up... Katria, she is the, the second best. Whew, okay, so. I do want to also peek at our mages and see what stabs they have. You just have the mend, which means militia needs to have anything else that we might want. Uh, we also got some sort of random staff, speed. Raises speed by two for one turn. I don't think that's ever going to be useful, but like, you know, I'll keep it in mind. Um, barrier might be okay, um, but on this map, I feel like we might want to start using Fortify. Uh, admittedly. <laughs> I really don't want to uh, pop it too much, but I'm going to give you Fortify for now, uh, because I'm certain we're going to need it in the next two maps, too. Um, so if we can just use, like, one or two Fortifies this time, and then maybe the rest another time, uh, in, in, like, the last map, that would be, uh, priority. That would be peak, that would be peak. However... We'll see how that goes. We will see how that goes indeed. Yes, okay. Um, at this point, I think we just gotta say screw it. Let's do it. We gotta give our, uh, give it a, a, a good try for the first time. Let's fight. Oh. Right in the front. Prince Moth. In this altar lurks many savage barbarians and mage dragons long gone mad. They have fallen under Garnaf's spell and will attack you given the chance. Garnef's servants, the heretic priests, possess great powers. They are not to be taken lightly. If you let this battle drag on, it may become fiercer than you can handle. Do not stop. Make for the end at once. Once you defeat Garnef, retrieve the Falchon. Um... What? <laughs> receive the Falchon that he stole from Altium. As you know, without Falchon, defeating Medius is nigh impossible. I understand, Lord Goto. My friends and I shall sally forth into the deepest depths of the altar. It would be wise to bring with you this ally. She is, uh, deigned to lend you her strength. It's good. You're... Another ally from the previous war, Sire? No, I don't believe we've met, but why? I have the strangest feeling that I know her. And this is fascinating. Because he's... And I think this was mentioned last time. Uh, in the last game, I think Jessica mentioned this. Uh, Mars recognizes every single person uh, from the paralogs of the last time, but does not recognize Nagi because we have to have Tiki die to do that. Um, and of course, I'm sure the homie does rec uh, recognize Nagi. My name is Nagi. I will stop the enemy, 
You must hurry to the throne room. Go. This time, everything must end. I'm glad she went down, like, to the middle-ish. Alright. What's this moves here? We probably should not immediately overextend our homie. What's the range on you? Uh, your range is like that. Uh, so it's not- I don't think we'll be overextending so much. Uh, if we just send someone right there to take out you. Uh, that someone could just be you. Uh, we might get hit for a lot. What kind of magic do you have, Thoron? I guess that probably hurts. Um... I'd be relying on a crit there. You're not gonna be stronger, unfortunately, so we might as well just have the homie do it. Ah, uh, you get hit for less because you have better resistance. <sighs> 19 instead of 21. <clears throat> 19 to your that. I think that's worth it. And you pop a level, you might get one more HP, which is all right. Um, I'm gonna send you here. I'm gonna start sending everyone else. They they did say we should not dilly and dally, so I am gonna start like moving people. Um, you can wait there. Uh, oh, he has pure water, so that's nice. Uh, we unfortunately do have to shmoove. Shmovement is a necessity. Uh, we should probably be shmoving you up, honestly. Uh, you have a good amount of resistance, so we might need to be shmoving you up, too. Uh, you might need to be in here with the rest of us. Uh, because your defense is also goaded. Uh, you come up there. Uh, I need to move everyone who is not a flyer up first. I think that needs to be my, my, my main priority, because I assume they'll probably also need protection in the back of some sort. And I'm not sure how reinforcements are going to spawn on this map. Oh, I meant to heal her. She's still fine. Okay, well, that's also fine. You crit? I've already died many times, and now finally... Well, also, is my camera busted right now? It's frozen on my screen. Hold on. Okay, so I had to restart uh, the recording anyway. Uh, I don't know how long my camera was out for. <laughs> it was just, I, that's the first time that's happened. Um, if I send you up, you're gonna get attacked by. Uh, ooh, hold on. We could send someone up to attack the dragon, they'd have to deal with one swarm. Uh, and I don't think another swarm. Let me see where this meteor goes to. Uh, so I think, yeah, I think I need to, to do this a little bit more differently. And I do think they want us to, like, rush this. So let's rush it. Uh, cause you're only gonna do 16 to her. But we also might want to just get the dragon out of the way early, but I don't know if we can. Okay, so, first things first, you, I think, still need to take out this guy. Use a Silver Lance to do it, very good. Same thing, good level up! Okay level up. Uh, not even really that okay, but it'll, it'll, it'll do level up is where I'm at. Um, I'm gonna send you here. Paula, I guess I'm gonna send you here. I think maybe even so, I should have given you that, uh, that crit axe. Or that crit lance. Uh, how good is your javelin here? It just do 16. This guy's strong. But she's strong too, so I'm not all that concerned. Uh, you going in there does block that path a little bit better. Um, I'm gonna send you up and give a stab of psychic over there. Um...
We might have to start using Aurora's X, to be honest. Um, I'm more comfortable sending you up now. Uh, you can come up too. Uh, you should be around, I guess. You come up. We might just want to have two Pegasus Knights in the back. Even though he died in one hit. But I can't blame him because he got crit. The siblings can hang out, uh, hang out in the back. We'll see how this works. Uh, that might be 14. I should have maybe healed Paula. Last time that didn't hit, I was going to say, but if it hits this time, and it did. <sighs> yeah, I know you're sorry. And I'm sorry, too. I have her equipped with the javelin this time. Here. Psychic kill stole there. Uh, she also got an even worse level up. She just got HP on that last level up. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> I am going to send you up. I do think you need to be on the forefront because you're very good. Um, that Aurora's Axe, I think, might actually save us for something. Uh, you come on up. You go over there. You to here. Uh, Minerva in the back as well. And then you can come on over here. We should survive this. Unless we get, like, some real, real random everything is hitting. And we get a crit. Oh, you came up this time, but you're only doing 18. Uh, you could still die. Everyone hit. If if, if the, the thing didn't hit, she would have been fine. If the, 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 I'm, I'm, like, hoping on that now. Oh, I've got some, I've got some work to well, do. I might have a different solution, then. Because... My different solution is scarier, though. Because she's faster. I didn't realize she was that much faster than, um, than Paula. She's got four speed on Paula. Um, and even you have an extra speed on Paula, so, like, maybe you should be attacking here. And you got a bigger, a bigger, a bigger chance to crit. You didn't crit, uh, but you did lose more health. And I might send the both of you up. Like, you to start with the damage? Uh... You'll still get hit? Unless... You have speed, so... Oh, you don't have a javelin, though. If you had a javelin, I don't... I still don't think you could finish it with a javelin, but I think you could have hit twice. Uh... Pop that. Maybe it won't hit. It's a 70% chance. Yeah, sure hit. Okay, so I think Catcher is gonna have to take that heal. The thing is, if we get hit by both this and this, we might be in trouble. Uh, am I recording? Yes. But my camera's frozen again. What's up with that? Hold on. Uh, that's a new issue. <laughs> um, can I deactivate and reactivate it? Did that work? It did. I'm gonna have to keep an eye on that. I'm not sure why that's happened. I'm gonna have to. That's a brand new issue. I might have to just. Uh, it might be a driver that I need to re-update. Uh, I'll play with that. Uh, that's a future me problem. I'll just peek at that every so often. Um, for right now, though, let's come over here. Uh, let's pop over here because now we have room to move. Oh, we have room to move and, oh, uh, but I can't, I don't think both of you can get that close. Like, you can't get all the way up there. You can get to there. You can't get all the way to use the mend on her. Um, <clears throat> you can use fortify if you really wanted to, but I'm not sure if this is a fortify moment. Uh, how far can you come? Not far enough to do damage there. I think your resistance is eight. I think eight's enough to survive one of these hits. I think it'll do 16 at the moment. Ooh. <laughs> Me saying, I think it'll be enough to survive. Yeah, we'll see about that. <laughs> That's a big we'll see about that moment, isn't it? Um, for right now, I'm going to just do that. Uh, hope that the other thing misses, and we'll see how it goes. We will see how that goes. Okay, at this point, we do just need to have people move forward. Um, Maculus, you can stay in the back. You can come up. We just gotta go. We gotta zoom. Also, I need someone to have a door key. Okay, so that's gonna be 14 on Paula. 
and it missed this time. I wish it missed the last time. Uh, let me see. So that hit, you're gonna get a chance to hit maybe twice? You do. Okay. That's great. Uh, that is still okay. If the other one to the right also comes, that could be bad. Well, everybody catches a heal. Uh, you two coming down is not great. Everybody coming down is not great. No reinforcements, though, so that's okay. Um, having to deal with you and you uh, could be an issue. Because now we have to deal with this dragon, Glower, and Swarm. Swarm, if somebody's in there, we're fine. Huh. It might be a fortify kind of moment, I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, if it's a fortify kind of moment, we have to attack first. Uh, that guy has to go. Who else is over here? Killer Axe. Oh, man. What's your range? Your range is, is significant. Okay, so we might be living on a prayer here. Who's ready to live on a prayer? And that's going, and I can wait. Okay, I'm just like, every so often I need to check that camera. I'm not sure what the deal is with that. Um, You have a Worm Slayer. What can you do to this guy? 19, you would take 20. Um, We also need people to come and handle them and them. Um, Aurora. You are not goaded, but you are good. Uh, what is your range? Okay, so just don't stand on top of those spaces. Or you're probably gonna have to do a little bit of work to just ease my mind. On this side, I was gonna say you might have to hit the Aurora's Axe if you hit the 50-50 crit. Um, yeah, go for it. Missed and didn't hit the 50-50 crit. My favorite. My favorite combination. You just did. Good job. Um, here's the other thing. I guess you could... Come over here and you could pop this first and you wouldn't even take out the homie here is the problem and you would be very low afterwards okay never mind you did take him out because you crit and that's why we believe in paula at all times um never doubt her she is queen she is her uh <laughs> never forget i also need to remember that you essentially are here to just be the bane of existence for dragons. Um, and maybe anybody else who I need to take out. So Nagi uh, is also based. Uh, you are good too, so let's not forget that. Um, you have a Silver Lance, you might not even get hit here. But I need to make sure that if we're doing some attacks, we need to just attack first. Uh, you could get over there, but I'm not sure if that's the right answer. Uh, I'm okay with the Swarm guy surviving. But can you get to... You you can basically get there, but you still don't have a a thing of a doodle. Twenty six would kill you. Yes. Uh, you're not going to be able to get to us this next turn, so I don't need to worry about you. We do need to worry about you, and we do have a mage, so that's something we need to keep in mind. Um, like you could you could just take out this person. Um, but, I don't know if that's the right answer. I think making just a wall here might not be a bad answer either. Like, all of you guys have decent stats. What's your, uh, what's your speed? 23, so you, we're gonna get hit twice. Ah, uh, we'll see what happens. Famous last words, like, right, you have... Oh, you have 22, you have 23. If you get hit, you might get hit twice. I'm not, I really don't, someone can explain to me the, the, how, what, what difference does it take to hit twice? That's something I never really paid attention to. I'm just like, oh, if you're really fast, you might hit twice. <laughs> I don't remember what the differential is. Um, here though, I think you could just take a free KO here and that may save me a little bit of trouble. Um, cause now we have the potential to move both you and you. I'm not sure if you can get in for a hit on anybody. You can. Um, we would be relying heavily on a crit for this one, and I'm not sure if that is for the best, admittedly. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's for the best. Uh, we can try. I'm okay to try, but um, I think hitting the fortify first might be a better idea. <sighs> Uh, 
Uh, who can use Starlight? Anybody, I guess. Huh? Any of our mages. Huh? Katarina, you might have just gotten a new job, so we're, you, you, you might be the one who needs to do the thing. Uh, eventually. Uh, <laughs> so keep that in mind. Minerva. Could come up here. You have a whopping three, three resistance, but you do have... Uh, hold on, hold on a minute. You could crit. I'm willing to do that. You didn't crit, and you're probably going to get hit, but you're not going to be dead. That is the ideal. Um, Can you get to this guy? You can. Uh, you would hit twice. There's a low chance that you would get hit. Um, but also, I don't know if you would get the KO is the problem. And above him is this one who can't hit you, and this one who can hit you with a meteor and this one who can't hit you so you would have to survive one meteor is what i'm looking at uh that being said uh can you get up to him no but you can get up to him so we'd be gambling we would do a, a double gamble here uh this would be our, well this isn't a real gamble because oh hmm, hmm hmm i'm i think i'm willing to gamble i think we're gonna use fortify after this turn but i think i'm willing to gamble here and this is our big gamble this is this is essentially uh, our make or break. Uh, you probably are going to need to crit on one of your two hits. Um, go for it. Yes. Let's go, Catria. And then we'll just use. We'll bring everybody else up forward. You guys should be able to survive a hit from that guy. Um, we can bring them back down if we need to, but you know, at this point. I think that's- we're trying our best not to do that. Uh, item, convoy. Let's store starlight, retrieve a door key, and trade that door key to- I really want to give it to Katria. Um, but if we're gonna send anybody into the pit of danger, I guess it could be you. Uh, trade that with Excalibur and just wait. Uh, and you are gonna have to use Fortify, unfortunately. You might be able to take out this guy over here. Uh, but you, I guess, stay centered-ish, because I am still expecting reinforcements from the bottom, and that's what might screw me over in the in the in the near future. But let's pop a fortify and see what happens on this next turn. Hopefully it's not reinforcements. <sighs> Surely they wouldn't give us the reinforcements before we hit the, the checkpoint. Oh you missed. Even better. Oh, even better. Oh, you're a little too close. Oh, I didn't take that into account. She's gonna... She's not dead, but but that, that swordsman is gonna... Oh, man. Yeah, okay. Man, everything else worked out. If I had paid attention there, that's why they... Even if I put... Like, everybody in different orders. I think you could have taken that hit better. I think I can get here, but I think the perfect storm is over. I gotta go back. Like, everybody else that's not, like, right here just needs to go up. Uh, I'm surprised that you didn't get attacked last turn. Well, because you attacked them again. And I probably shouldn't have done that exactly the same, but... <laughs> Admittedly, I, I was like, this is a just-in-case. Uh, we'll fortify now. Because that's a, a good level up for you. Okay, a bad level up for you, but um, I digress. Uh, you continue to come up. Where? You come up first. Unless there's like going to be dragons down bottom, I feel like you should be up in the fray. Uh, you can come up to... How far can you go? You can go to there. I'm going to put you next to this flyer. And I'm going to put you right behind, and I think I'm going to have you try and take, uh, Starlight. We don't need to use it yet. But I, in that juncture, I think we do need to, like, get you a couple more KOs, because you, if you're going to be the one using Starlight, you need some levels, I think. <laughs> We're just going to have to stack you up with some of those rings. Um, yeah, in that case, you wait here in between everybody. Do we have reinforcements yet? 24. Oh, that could just kill her. Oh, man, I'm gonna have to go back. 
Maria, I'm sorry. Ave Maria. I think we need you to do the things too. That's unfortunate. Uh, and that's the only thing that happened. Ugh. Uh, uh, ugh. Can I get back here? I, can, I, I, I think I would just be hoping for you to catch a... Oh, we're so close to a heal too. Man. You have to come up here and I think I have to get you somehow with less damage than you had. Which sucks. We'll see. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that. We might have to like really re rearrange uh, something. This guy is still alive. That's not my big concern though. Uh, cause I don't think he'll be able to kill anybody up here. My big concern is I had to send Paula up. And this is the only way that I could think about it. To send, to KO this guy first. Didn't even take any damage. It was great. So we don't have to worry about Meteor. But we do have to worry about, I feel like, reinforcements. Because I feel like, once we like, step past. And I, and I know that there's like, gates. Once you step past a certain point, you're gonna get reinforcements. Uh, part of me feels like... That's <laughs> that's what's going on here, and we'd step past this, and that's my only concern, and especially since I haven't popped the save state, I don't want to do this all one more time. Um, otherwise, we're safe, and I don't think we can reach over there. I mean, your resistance is three, so that's not, like, the best. Part of me almost wants to, like, bring you back with again, but I can't do that. Unfortunately. Uh, let's see, we could do that. We could just send Marth over to potentially tank a hit. Since he's at full HP. Maybe draw him in. Okay, no, you went after that. And that's what I was afraid of. We gotta go back. Minerva, you, I'm, I think I just need to not send Minerva up. But Minerva has this crit axe, and I don't think anybody else can quite use it. It's the killer axe. Ugh. Let me see how the rest of this goes, though, because I am curious to see if that's where the reinforcements, like, trigger. No? No. Okay, so that's good to know. So I don't have to be worried about breaking you right there. It's just if I can get anybody else up there to take out them, we can get rid of them so Minerva doesn't have to get tanked by an attack. And I don't think either of you can use the axes. No, Minerva's kind of like our only our only godsend on that front. Uh, we could send our other homie. Where is he? Maculus? His resistance is 5, I guess he would take 2 less hit, but I don't think he could... His strength, I think, was worse than Minerva's. Um, I'll try it again, but I kind of have, like, a strategy at this point. Uh, the next time that you see it, it'll, it'll maybe work. <laughs> uh, at first I was... Okay, so so hear me out. Uh, the, my solution here was just to make sure we had a third Pegasus Knight up here. I just sent EST up instead. Uh, but that honestly got us overrun down here by all those mages, and I was like, I just need to prioritize getting everybody out except for the Swarm, because I think we can take a hit from Swarm on almost anybody. But, I don't- did we give Marth boots? Because I'll be frank, Marth- I didn't think was going to be able to come all the way up here, but Marth can get this KO. And that saves us so much headache, and that actually just clears this entire tunnel. Um, which is dope. <laughs> which is the, the, the best case scenario. I cannot wait to, to just sit right here and get our souls a safe state. Oh man, y'all, this is, this is, this is, this is, you don't know how long I've been waiting for this. Save state, put that thing in number two. Number one was the star of the map, and I've clicked that thing a lot of times. Okay, <clears throat> this map isn't... Well, I don't know what awaits me in here, and I haven't seen the reinforcements. That's the, the big issue. So I assume it's either door here is that I have to go through. Um, taking out these guys might be a good idea to do first, but I'm not sure when these reinforcements are going to spawn and where they're going to spawn. Because there is... Uh, this gap here... There's this gap here, there's the gap at the bottom. Uh, that's the issue. <laughs> there's a lot of places where I could see reinforcements spawning, and I know this game would do that to me. Um, that being said, let's just send in the A-team and have them ready to just go. <clears throat> uh, Marth honestly needs to be ready to go too. Um, Marth has essentially the, uh, the same movement as most of these Riders and Pegasus Knights. I think he just has one less. So I need to keep that in mind. Because our boy can, like, walk all the way up here if he wanted to. But I don't want to put anybody right there. Because who knows, like, there could be some sick mage right there. Um, that's my big concern. But I do think we're going to have to deal with a bunch of dragons in there. Uh, you need to move up. And I'm almost okay with you using another Fortify. But let's not pop that just yet. Uh, I would like you two to kind of surround over here just in case we get dragon reinforcements this very next turn. Um, cause it's coming. I, I know that it's coming. 
It's it's about to it's about to be here, isn't it? They're okay. No, okay. They're just gonna move. Huh? Oh. Oh, this guy attacked us the first time, so I guess he's gonna just start moving toward. The, that's fine. The other guy hasn't moved at all because we didn't get into his range. Uh, we can handle one extra person from the back. Uh, <laughs> that, that, that's where I am at this point. Um. Man, I don't know what to do. Let's not let fear dictate us. Uh, Paula, you can get to this door. Just open it up and see what we're dealing with. A dragon. A couple dragons. Some mages. A couple mages. Uh, another dragon. Uh, a mess. Just a whole mess in here. Ew. Oh, man. I hate this. That being said, you can hit anybody out here, right? This other meteor is... Do we have two meteors? Oh yeah, this 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 is uh that's bad. And I doubt you'll be able to take out this dragon by yourself. Uh you get close with the silver lance. Ugh meteor is really bad, uh, because we have to deal with two of them. But now I know. Uh and knowing that is half the battle. Um Meteor Glower is really strong. We're probably going to go back to that safe state, and that's fine. I just want to see... Yeah, so... Okay, I think that one actually missed. That one's not going to miss. I mean, it still might. It did. I'm surprised both of those... I'm really surprised both of those missed. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, I'm the big surprise. Uh, that... Uh, getting... I was gonna say, that that doing what it was supposed to really surprises me. Um... That hit for a lot. To, uh, but... Uh, this turn might be okay, actually. Do we have reinforcements? No. Okay. I thought that we're gonna be on a, a, bunch, a bunch. Uh, should I be less worried now? Uh, what what has happened here is, uh, things that aren't aren't really all that bad. We have to deal with these two, and we still have to deal with Meteor, which is really bad. Um, and you're dying, <laughs> which is really bad. But um, uh, I still think I almost wanted to to restart. But uh, there's admittedly hope going on here, and I'm okay with that. Uh, if one of these crits, that would be awesome. If that doesn't hit us, that would be awesome. Okay, I can't ask for anything, apparently. Because we also didn't get a crit there. Um. Because at this point, you don't have a tomahawk, and you don't have a tomahawk. They're just both killer lances. And that's okay. And as long as you kind of just stand your ground there and honestly don't kill this dragon, we would be okay. Uh, we just have to deal with two meteors, which is really bad. Um, but if we... Ugh, oh boy. Uh, what is their, their range on these meteors? I think we can kind of game the meteors by splitting people up. Uh, I think that's al almost what we're going to have to do. We might have to send some people out of range of the first meteor and have some people try and goad out the second meteor. Um... Oh boy, we also have this guy coming from the back. I don't think his movement is great, so he's not going to be anywhere near us anytime soon. Uh, but this run isn't dead yet. Um, do you have a... You don't even have a vulnerable on you. That's all on me. That's 100% my bad. Um, here's the thing. Can you get the KO? Not in one hit. And another hit would kill you. Um, do I think anybody else would be able to? Can you hit between... So we could kind of like tank some of the dragons from the sides. Um... I almost think, like, taking these guys out is not a bad idea either. Um... You probably need to be somewhere in that general range. Um... Here, here's what I'm gonna do. I haven't seen reinforcements yet, and I, I, I'm, I don't. There must be a trigger somewhere. It might even be in the room. Um, so I don't really feel safe leaving everybody down here. But um, 
I'm gonna do a little bit of this. Store Starlight, we're gonna have to pick it up. Someone, the world remind me to pick that up. Uh, also, this might just be a two mapper, we'll see. Uh, we wanna come down and grab... None of that, what did I wanna grab? A door key, so that's at the top-ish. I don't know if we're gonna need another door key is the, the big issue. Uh, trade that, give that to Nagi. We already have one door open is, is my, my big problem, to be honest. You wait there. Nagi, you're gonna be the first one to come out of the, the shadows there. Uh, you honestly could use a javelin, and I think that might be a worthwhile thing to just get from the convoy this turn and, and waste something for you. Uh, I gave you a javelin during one of these, but I didn't save it during the reset. Um... I'm gonna send Minerva this way, and I'm gonna have you pop a Vulnery. Because if you do that, they're gonna target you, and you won't die. Um, you will definitely be hitting a Fortify, probably from around where you are. Uh, I'm gonna sit you here. I'm gonna sit you here, and I'm gonna give a second thought to some of these other things that are going, some of our other going-ons. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of okay sending you this way. You also have a vulnerability, so I'm okay with you using that. Because I firmly believe the EST is going to be able to get this KO and live, yep. Won't even need a, uh, a second shot unless you somehow missed a 95, thank you. Um, whew, there's something in my eye. Something fierce. Uh, Midia has six resistance. I'm gonna send you over here. Um... I really, really, really wish that you had a vulnery on you. <laughs> Is my biggest wish. Um... Silver Sword, Silver Sword. Like, you could get hit with a Meteor, and that is also a big concern of mine. You have six resistance, um... Get more. Why not? Uh, <laughs> I was gonna say, just just, just take some more. Who, who cares? Um, my thing is, we could still have that other mage come over and... I guess I would only try and hit you. And you guys don't have the range to hit from there. Uh, you just have the killer axe. Uh, we'll hit a fortify. I don't think we need a rescue. How much health do you have? Huh. <sighs> you would get hit for 17. There's a chance that you would only get hit for 17, which is fine. Um. Just wait. Uh, I don't really want you to get hit by anything. Especially the mages right there, because you wouldn't survive. Um... What is the range for this other meteor? Okay, I'm okay with you getting hit by one meteor. And I'm okay with bringing you a little bit closer. Oh, there they are. Oh, and more dragons. Okay. Now I understand. 23 on to Maculus. That's what I wanted. And it missed. Even better. They're missing their 79s. And that is really music to my ears. Marth, that's who I expect you to get hit there. But here's the thing, now these characters are going to have to start schmoving. Uh, so, there should only be one hit on Paula for 17. The thing is, uh, I think Paula is going to be able to attract this, uh, attack this guy just the once. Didn't get the crit. So we're good on that front. Oh no, Sita might die. <sighs> if Sita got healed for one more, for one more, we would be in great shape. <sighs> okay, okay. Well, now that I know what we're dealing with and I know where the reinforcements are spawning, I think we're in a better position because there was just a lot of unknown going on. So, we have to deal with them, we have to deal with them. Um... Ugh. Okay, all right, okay, okay. And Cedar would have been our only casualty, yeah. Yeah, because nobody else would have been able to hit. Uh, how far do you guys come? They don't have the best movement, but we can't just dilly and dally around anymore. 
Um, so... Since that's the case, I think I actually, once we open that door, want to have you sort of in here as well. Uh, and our Pexus Knights kind of around that little corner. Uh, because if we can fly in and start taking out these people with the, the big, the big damage dealers, then we can, we can really kind of sporadically do our thing. Uh, so before we do anything, we want to, like, have people around this door. Um, good. Noted. I think we can, I think we can be okay the next time. Since we just had that safe. Okay, so Paula has the key. <clears throat> Admittedly, I don't know if I want Paula to have the key. Maybe somebody else should have the key. <laughs> Not gonna lie, maybe Mark should have the key. Uh, <clears throat> so Paula can come in and do some damage. Um, at the very least, Katria I think needs to get in because Katria I think might be slightly better than Paula in terms of just just because of speed. And Paula can't get any more level ups, uh, and I don't think we have any more speed wins. Like if Paula had like two more speed, goaded. Um, but that 22, just short of, I think, what would be a peak. Uh, but her defense is also goaded, so I'm not really gonna complain. Um... You, give, give you the door key, uh, go to the convoy, store this. Uh, at the very least, I think you probably should have a vulnerary. Just because you are, <laughs> you are her, and you deserve it. Uh, you need to be around here. <clears throat> I'm not opposed to you. I need to give you a, a, a thing. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, so convoy. Store that because I don't think I can use the convoy twice. You pick up a no. Store this. Uh, retrieve a javelin, a fresh javelin, and trade that with you because I'll be frank. You should have one. <laughs> you should have a javelin. Uh, now, here's the thing. There is a concern. Slight concern because I don't think... It took like two turns for them to respawn from the bottom. So I don't know if that was a... Oh my gosh, they're, they're spawning because we opened the door and two turns have passed. Or if it's just a, a regular, hey... Uh, turns are happening. <clears throat> so we'll see. We'll see in just a moment. Um, I do think you need to be by the door. You probably need to be by the door too, but it is what it is. Maybe you could go by this door. I don't know. You might be able to just also hang around right there. Uh, 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 all right. In this turn. That doesn't get the KO. I don't know if that's worth it then. Okay. So here's where we are. <laughs> and I think we might just go in nitty gritty and see how this... Uh, situation works because it doesn't take me too long to get back to like this orientation. Where is everybody? Paula's all the way back here. I was give it a shot. So if you were to come in first, you could not defeat this. Oh, I wanted you closer. That was our 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 big ol' yeah. We should probably get you closer. Uh, so who can take out this dragon? Maybe you if you crit. We should also be taking a whole bunch of damage, and I don't know if that's the best decision in the world. Uh, we would be able to kind of mitigate a lot of that with, um... Ah, shoot, go for it. But the thing is, if you don't crit, uh, then nobody else can come in. Okay, so that may not have been the best decision. Uh, <laughs> in fact, uh, most of me wants to restart right now. Uh, in fact, all of me kind of wants to re- I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back real quick. Okay, so I learned something. It is definitely a, a X amount of turns kind of thing. So, um, uh, we have to kind of get in here and do some work quick. Um, and I think we'll be able to do some work quick. Because I think that Guardian is kind of just there to, to be that guy. Um, Paula can get in here and hit any of these people. Um, that being said, we got... Uh, <laughs> we have... It's dangerous in there for the most part. Uh, but we, meet, we may need to just, like, have some people be bait. 
Can you get to the glower? You can't get to the glower. I don't think anybody can get to the glower. That's the big issue, I think. <laughs> That guy's 17. What's the range on you? Uh, and then there's that. I mean, like, if you can get in here, they probably won't hit you. But I guess they can move and then hit you. Uh, so we have this too. Uh, let's see what we can do here. Because Marth, the thing is, Marth is just going to have to be around and not die. Um... You're still going to have to... Oh, we, we have a timer. <laughs> we do have a timer. Um, shoot. Uh, you have a javelin. It's not really going to be good for anything there. Um, I was going to say, you're not going to be good for anything here for the most part because you got your, your speed's trash. Uh, I think we need to take out... The biggest priorities, I think, are you and you. And if we can get anybody else, that would just be nice. Uh, we have the Roro's Axe, and I guess we could start gambling on Roro's Axe. Uh, do we gamble on Roro's Axe here first? It'll hit. Okay. Good, good. Wee! That's the sound that uh, it makes when it crit hits. Oh, Catria is on this side. Oh my gosh, wait a minute. I did I'm goaded. What? I did that? <laughs> and you have the javelin now? Could it be? Uh, that's a lot of damage. That's, a, that's still a lot of damage. Uh, <laughs> That's, uh, that's an unfortunate truth. Um, so we can definitely take out either of them. Uh, Paula, you can get in here and you can attack a bunch of people too. Um, like on you, you could get them very low and you might even crit. Uh, or you could take out this person for good. Um, which may be more useful to us. Uh, let me see who else can get in here and what they can do. Um... You would take 18. You could crit. Uh, 18 on you is not going to be the end of the world because I am going to pop a... You didn't crit. That's unfortunate. Um... <sighs> EST will get in here, and I think EST could probably take out either one of you. Um... That's not the worst decision either. <gasps> okay. Okay, okay, hold on. <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> wait, wait, hold on a second, hold on a second, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, that's good, uh, <laughs> to say the least. Um, because you can get in here. My, my big concern is, uh, this meteor and this glower. Um, that being said, if we create a line of people, uh, then we don't have to do too much worrying because none of these dragons will be able to reach us on this turn. Um,. Marth, I think, can get close to the throne, but won't be able to get there. Hold on. Marth would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So we'd have to stall out for one more turn. Ugh. We have the both of you. We gotta use the both of you. Uh, I think at this point we might need to have you gamble on a crit. Um, or do we gamble on uh, this this weapon? Gamble on the, the, the Hotchter didn't crit and took a, a decent chunk of damage that's unfortunate uh but it is very low now so that's nice um uh who can get to that guy you can get to the mage over here uh and i think that's probably in our best interest in the chance that you crit come on didn't crit okay Glower is going to be a really big problem. That being said, I think you just can't get to Glower because we haven't eliminated this guy. Uh, so if we eliminate this guy, we can probably get to Glower, but I don't know if any... Uh, if you come over here, you can't even Leaven Sword him, but that's okay, I guess. Because uh, now you can definitely take out this guy. Okay, 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 and, uh, you can't do that. Uh, so we have the two of you who can move. You can come all the way over here, which I think is for the best. I think you're gonna have to come over here and defeat this person. 
I think that has to be the case, because I think now you still can't reach right there, and that is bad. So we're gonna have to have you three be uh, the mages in motion, or the the Pega sisters in motion, uh, which isn't bad, but like, uh, can the three of you take a glower and a uh, potentially two meteor, uh, not two meteors, one meteor and one glower. Someone might be in immense trouble. Is my 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 was what I'm kind of thinking right now. Um, so much so that I'm kind of hoping that they try and hit you or you. Uh, because this isn't gonna heal anybody to full, or it's gonna heal one of you to full, but it's not gonna heal the both of you to full. Um, admittedly, I think we need bait. <laughs> I think we kind of need bait. Um. And, like, it would be great if we could, like, bait out, uh, somebody over here. If I do this again, I might have somebody, like, waiting over here, as I thought before, as bait. Uh, but we might get our meteor luck again, like, that we had the last time. Oh, they just keep respawning. Okay. So that is our bait. Oh, but if they both hit her? Uh, she lives. If they both hit her, she lives. Is the other one gonna go for her, too? Oh, uh, you're gonna go there. Uh, that's gonna hurt. Ah, uh, Sita. <gasps> okay. Well, here's the thing. If this other me- Other meteor- There isn't another meteor, is there? But if this other glower hits- Yeah, that's the- That's the- That's the one. Yeah. <sighs> if we took out that glow- oh, We were so close. We were so close. I think this is possible. Because that's- That ain't nothing. That ain't nothing. In fact, we were we were so close because none of them would be able to hit us. Uh, my mind was there. Everything, the pieces were in place, but it, it, we just needed like one more. I think like proxy. You know, I think if Sita was down one more, if Sita had gotten that that crit before, because like, look, Marth, where would you get to? Marth would get to here. Uh, somebody would take out that. I think we could take out these dragons. Uh, you don't have this. Well, you might have some movement, but you don't have these movement. Your movement is six. Uh, so we wouldn't be able to use you to take out these dragons, which was a pain, unfortunately. Uh, but, I think we probably could have made some magic happen. I gotta go back for Sita. Uh, for poor Marth, I can't have him live in peace or have that curse. The curse of, uh, uh Henri or something. We're gonna EST for everything. That's not good, but it's only 62. Yes, 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 that's what I wanted. Oh, and you responded with the- oh, honey, EST. EST might also be her. Cause you're only gonna do 13 there. Uh, Sita, you have this 30 crit and you you have barely been critting and we're gonna have to talk about that at some point. Uh, ooh, still okay, still okay. Uh, Cause she, had, she should have better speed. Okay. This is, we're in, we're in good shape. This is the best shape we've been in. Uh, we still have to deal with them and now we have people coming from the bottom. Um, but once again, best shape we've been in. Um, this will definitely be a tour, and then we'll probably have the final map in one episode. Um, this is the- because this is taking a minute. This is taking me a while. Uh, just because I made some small errors, and you have not seen all of them. <laughs> uh, I don't want to fortify first, but I don't- that might- it might come down to that. Paula. Honey. We only have to deal with Meteor in terms of magic, so that's that's good to know. That is that is actually very good news. Here, I guess you go and hit that one first, sure. Oh, Leaven Sword broke. We have another one, whatever. Um you, your javelin. Yeah. I'm okay with that, and at this point in time, I think uh, having a wall of folks that are, are dealing with them is not the worst decision. Uh, and the fact that we do- ooh, okay. Uh, so no magic on them. No no magic on them. Got it. Noted. <laughs> very, very much noted. Okay. Um, the game said, no, no, you don't do that. Um... I'm gonna sit you here as a part of our wall. 
Because if they're going to try and attack people, I want them to try and attack you. Um... I do want you in. You have a javelin. What kind of damage are you doing? 18. Ugh. As much as EST should be a part of our wall, I'm going to send you here. And you are going to drink up. Paula, you do you. You should probably have the dragon pike equipped, but it is what it is. Uh, that'll do that. Uh, now I'm okay with sending you in to do this. Uh, I still think we want to bait Meteor like this. And Marth, I need you to move in. Because next turn we might just try and take the throne. Because uh, we are running out of time down there. <laughs> that's something that's actually happening. So let's stab, let's special stab, let's fortify one more time. We have enough uses uh, for a couple more probably on the final map. Um, you, yeah, I don't know what you should do to be honest. Um, I think y'all are just gonna wait here. You don't even need to use a vulnerary. Um, I'm actually okay with you sitting here in, in her stead. Oh, that's really bad. Oh, I didn't expect them to come up from there. Okay, we this is we have to finish this this turn. In fact, we we might be doomed anyway. Uh, that's going on. Macalus and he dodged it. Where is he? Is he he's behind, right? Uh, oh no, he's in the, the front. It had to be a crit, didn't it? It just had to be a crit. It had to be a crit. Awesome that he did that. I love that that happened. Macalus might just. Do we need him for the final map? Because, like, everyone else, I was, like, ready. I was, like, these dragons, they ain't gonna be nothing. They ain't gonna be nothing. Like, look at that. Tiki Wall turned into a dragon said, oh, look at this. Now, uh, I do want to see how far these dragons move, because... They don't get close enough to, to murder us, which is great. So, uh, the, the setup that we have going right now... This is scary. <laughs> the setup we have going right now is fine. Uh, but... Uh, you suck, and now I know that. <laughs> Man, I gotta go back again. I gotta go back, but I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. So we're gonna run it back one more, maybe one or two or three more times. Oh, wait. I accidentally did the thing. This side was me, so just triangle attack. Hold up. Is that just an automatic crit? Oh, y'all. Wait a minute. And then I could come over here, and she could say with me, sister's triangle attack. We have you now. Triangle attack. Y'all, wait a minute. They, they, I think that's just an automatic crit. Uh, hold on a minute. Wait, wait. <laughs> okay, okay, so this, this is a different game now. <laughs> Guys, this is a different game. <laughs> a different game has been achieved. Um. This is a completely different game. I was doing things essentially the exact same way, but, um. <laughs> I'll be real. Um, I didn't want to mend there. You're not going to get anything for that. Uh, fortify, yeah. Uh, can I just like... Yeah, I'm okay with that. You might crit. You didn't, but it's fine. You damaged that dragon, that's cool. Um, I'm going to keep you around here. Switch you to here and use this. Um, where's Macalus? I still want him to bait out the, the thing. You still need to come up and around uh, and wait there. I'm honestly fine with you baiting it out too, uh, and you stand here. Because I don't think you're going to use it on anybody. I expect that, I expect that. That's going to come out. That's going to happen. yippity skippity whoopity doo da zippity day Alright, so you're going to hit Macalus, which is fine, because nobody, none of these dragons can hit. Here's the thing. Uh, if you crit, but that's only equipped for 12 if you crit on her. Okay, alright, okay. So now we're, we're actually in business. Uh, you're there, and that's a murder of a dragon. Uh, you are hitting there, and that's gonna be- ooh, even a dodge there? Okay, hold on, we're cooking. Okay, wait, no, this- this map is free now. This map- <laughs> yeah, yeah, hold on, wait a minute, y'all. <laughs> wait, no, hold on a second, hold on. <laughs> the triangle attack is kinda dope. I wish I had, had like- I knew about it earlier, I just never tried it. And I got- I just tried it there by accident, I was like, hold on, let me- let me make sure it's recording, because <laughs> I didn't realize it. Um...
you should probably be using the silver lance. Oh, uh, now we're finishing this thing off with a, with a triangle attack. Uh, a million percent. Uh, yeah, we can do a little bit more. Fine, that's fine, that's fine. Alright, now, now it's going in, sisters. <laughs> Line up. Oh, so she only says it the one time. Tragic. We'll still have to get EST's version of it. Uh, finish this map. Well, hold on. Yeah. Get a little more experience. Very cool. Alright, and... We might as well finish this guy off. Uh, you could probably finish this guy off too. Yeah, free experience, why not? Um, all right now, who over here can, can finish the job? Most notably from a diagonal. There you go, that's you. Uh, <laughs> we didn't break your love and sword this time, so go for it. Uh, there you go. And you finish it. We're done. We're done here. Get us out of here. Never again. Okay. <clears throat> Sire, there are stairs leading in. This way, if you please. What about if you, you're welcome? We must hurry, Sire. Right, Aurora. By the way, do you intend to wear that mask from here on out? Uh, I'm not entirely sure. It's very warm, as Sir Ymir said, but I stick out like a sore thumb. Indeed, the enemies look surprised. Well, what is your decision? Are you going to take it off? Yeah, we're going to take that thing off. Yes, I think I will remove it for this battle. Excellent choice. Well then, let's hurry. <laughs> I've been concerned about your fashion choices. <laughs> Aurora. Oh my gosh. I'm glad. I'm so glad we're done with that map. I'll be frank, I kind of liked that map. But boy, do I hate not knowing what's inside of the, the, the thing. Aura, just ahead is the Dark Pontifex. Garnef, possibly the strongest sorcerer alive or dead. Aurora, you're fairly resistant to magic, but you'd be a risk facing Garnef. If you must fight him, please take all necessary precautions. Yes, sire. Thank you. So we need someone with high resistance. Uh, view the map. And from my knowledge, we have to kill that man with... um. With Starlight, um, admittedly, <laughs> it almost feels like we should probably shoot Aurora back to, because, like, Aurora has 20 magic. As opposed to freaking, uh, you and her 14. Uh, you might put the Aurora's axe, but you can't hurt that man. So, ugh. Nine resistance. Yeah, I'm gonna say... Okay, the map does look kind of ugly. And, look at his range. Oh my gosh. What am I going to do about this? I just got to lead everybody out. And they all have, and meteors, and oh, oh. <laughs> I hate it here. I, I hate it here. Who can we bring? Well, I mean, like, for real, Nagi should probably come instead of uh, Makalus. Makalus, you were okay during that map, but you did make me restart on more than one occasion, so be gone. <laughs> Your magic is surprisingly 15, if only you could use the book. Um, it's technically better, well, I was going to say it's technically better than um, Katarina, but Katarina just needs more levels. You just, in one level, she would probably be maxed out or matching with your magic. And I guess Aurora... Well, there's some shenanigans here. Um, what's in our inventory? In the convoy. Also, let me see if anybody has anything special. There's aura, hammer. <sighs> I think we're pretty much good in that front. Um, probably don't need to bring Midia, to be honest. Midia didn't really help all that much. <laughs> in fact... Maculus is probably better than Midia in this regard, but I think we used Midia pretty much all of last time, just because I was like, we have no more horses, but I like having horses. Um, uh, let me peek at the convoy. Oh, we have a couple of those, that's kind of neat. 
Uh, let's see. Master Seals, we don't need those. Talisman of Resistance by two. Uh, that's not the worst decision. Skill by two. Uh, we have some pure water. Yo, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what we're gonna do at this point. Um... You're probably gonna be our star, our, our starlighter. Unfortunately, uh, not unfortunately. She's not bad. Uh, put away Nosferatu, and then retrieve um, some of this. Let's give her some luck. Uh, we might as well just pop the resistance on her, to be honest. Just cover up <laughs> any of her weaknesses here. Uh, give her a little bit more speed. Because she's almost, she's like really good on speed. Like now she's like uh, tied with, I think, um, Paula on speed. Uh, we can actually use this too. Just give her even more, uh, buff that resistance. Um, for this map. Convoy, retrieve. Uh, we're just going to kit her out. I mean, sure, you can have more skill, I guess. I don't think that's really what you need, but hey, you know what? If we're gonna beef somebody out, you're gonna be a super mage. She's a super mage, super mage, she's super mage. Uh, items. <clears throat> Aurora, why are you giving me so many rings? Are you proposing? No, don't get the wrong idea. I love Paul. <laughs> oh. Don't need a defense potion, I don't think. Uh, take the other secret book, and you know what, take one of these too. Suddenly, <laughs> suddenly, <laughs> she's grown to a mage that everyone wants to be. Uh, I don't need any of that. Uh, uh, I take this. Talk, huh? Look at all of this. Oh, a lot of Aurora and... Oh, I guess the, the people that we... Oh, Aurora Katarina 3! Yeah, let's go through all of this. Sir Yegan, in the innermost room, the Dark Pontifex Garnef is waiting. Or listen, while Garnef cannot be damaged by regular weapons, the Imhulu Tome he possesses has the power to block our attacks. Only the Starlight Tome can pierce Garnef's shadowy veil. If we don't have Starlight, then we'll have no choice but to try and seize the throne without fighting Garnef. Oh. Well, we have it. Can we just, can we not fight him? Can we lure him in and then have, like, uh, you know, good things happen? Nagi. Ooh, special. Lady Nagi, about the next battle. Well, actually, <clears throat> about the past battles. I know that my sire doesn't know you, but <clears throat> I know you did fight in the last war. You must know too, don't you? This, this timeline isn't all that it's, all that it seems, is it? Am I even from this timeline? Are you? Are many of us? This seems like a, a cookie cutter timeline that's been put together. What happened before? Who are some of these people? What does this all mean? I know we're advancing to the next floor, but I have so many questions that have gone unanswered. It'll likely be an intense battle. We don't have a minute to lose. You are... You are mysterious. Huh? You are being guided by a mysterious fate. Do we know... Is there actually some, like... <laughs> big, oh my gosh, Aurora is X, Y, and Z that I just haven't picked up on? I don't know who, but you're guided by someone similar to you. Are you fortune-telling? Truly, I did feel like what you described every uh, I did feel like what you described every now and then. Your name, tell me your name. My name is Aurora. <laughs> Aurora, tell me, what can I do for you? I want to help you. Okay. Cool. Macalus. Prince Macalus. Aurora, was it? 
I heard about your exploits. Damn that Prince Marth, he's got a sharp eye for talent. I'll treat those words as compliments to the Prince Marth. <laughs> Go ahead. I'm planning to leave this land once I save Maria. There's no point in him knowing. Leave this land? That's correct. In that case, what will you tell Princess Maria? Isn't she waiting for you? I'll save her, but I won't say a word afterwards. But that's horrible. The only one who should talk to Maria now is her sister Minerva. I don't have the right anymore. And why is that? I don't have any ties with Macedon anymore. So you're running. What did you say? I heard when you were re reunited with Minerva on the battlefield. You speak of during the War of Shadows. So what of it? That time, didn't the princess ask you to mend your ways? Bah! Why do you know that? Why do I know that? No, I didn't know. But, but considering her personality, I just presumed that she would have, I think. No, it's not that, is it? Uh, God! <laughs> God is right! Not because you committed a mistake, but for or for abandoning your kingdom, rather. I believe the princess's true wish for you uh, was for you to abandon your lance and walk a new path. Hmm. It's far too in the game to, <laughs> to switch and start a new weapons path. You're a woman who doesn't fear a king. Uh, yeah, that, that's true. I'm flattered. <laughs> If I had someone like you by my side, just like Prince Marth does now. No, I had one in the past. There was once a fearless woman standing by my side, too. Prince Maculus? Aurora. No, Dame Aurora. Thank you. Oh, that was actually a really neat one. <laughs> I'll be real. Midia, Aurora. Miss Midia. Miss Midia is actually really neat. I like that as a, as a title. You're that Altian knight, huh? Yes, my name is Aurora. I thought uh, to greet you as a fellow comrade uh, fighting under Bird's Marth. Likewise, nice to meet you. Have you met Horus? <laughs> Boy, have I ever. <laughs> he is great. No, shut up, Aurora. Don't ever say that again. <laughs> we need to defeat the villain who was um, uh, manipulating Emperor Harden from the shadows. For the sake of Arcania and for this world. Yes. By the way, you're just a female. You're a female knight, rather, just like me. Being a knight when you're a female brings on sorts of inconveniences, don't you think? Quite indeed. It's complicated to even find a refuge to sleep during the campaigns. I understand. I felt the same. I hope we'll get along, Aurora. Thank you, Miss Midia. Miss Midia? And Katarina Aurora have your three. Aurora, this world will be over soon, won't it? I better get like a... a, a <laughs> something special for this one. Or will this war be over soon? Uh, this war will be over soon, or uh, soon rather, won't it? Yes, and once it's over, no one will need to die anymore. And then we'll usher, uh, we'll usher in an age of peace under, led by Prince Marth. I'm sure that there will be no more wars and Fire Emblem in the future. Yeah! <laughs> Aurora, I'm happy I could be with you this far. Ever since I first met you, uh, the memories of our time together are my dearest treasures. <laughs> They're precious to me. <laughs> You don't need to give those memories that much importance. Katarina, you'll be with me from now on, too. And we'll be building many more happy memories together. Yes, Aurora. The War Council is about to start. No, it's, it's, it's actually ended quite a, quite a while ago, but whatever. Uh, let's go, Katarina. Yes. Oh. Well, actually, that one's useful. <laughs> actually, we're going to pop that one on Katarina right now. <laughs> That's what I was like, man, if you only had just, like, a little bit more magic. Uh, here. Store the, this first. Retrieve this. Yeet. Uh, uh, items. Use this. Alright. Uh, convoy. Retrieve. Get that magic water back. Um, so here's the deal. Oh, this map is gonna be hard, I think. When I was looking at it, I'm not sure if I saw any- Okay, there's two save points. Uh, let me look at Anthony Sub's, uh, recommendations for this map, because I think there was uh, nothing recommended specifically. Uh, uh, let's see. I thought I still had it open. I do still have it open. Uh, let's see. 
So, for this, it's Starlight's needed to kill Garnef. Also, if you had the Warp Staff, you could get uh, Hammered and the Revival Staff, uh, but we won't. <laughs> Unfortunately, we cannot do that. Um, which, we don't really need the Revival Staff, because nobody's died yet. And at this point in the game, uh, let me talk to you. If anyone dies in the final map, and I can still beat the final map, they might just stay dead. <laughs> That's kind of where I am at this point. Uh, but it does sound like the final map is a little bit more fair in this, uh, in this juncture. Um, and I think it's because, uh, really, all of our people are kind of even down. And I don't think they were getting many archers left. I, don't know. I think the game is saying, hey, you better have some flyers because <laughs> and some people can deal with dragons. Oh, uh, Meteor here, too? Well, that sucks. Meteor here, too, I guess? Probably, yeah. Uh, so we have to walk this, like, the slim path. Uh, there's no mention of reinforcements, but, like, at this stage of the game, there's probably always reinforcements, and we hate that. Um, so we can probably make it to the middle here. Uh, conspicuously, there's a side here and a side here. I guess there's a dragon on both of those sides, too. That kind of sucks. Uh, <laughs> Oh, we're probably gonna use Fortify. This is a, a glower, and that's a glower. Y'all are probably meteors or swarm, swarm, swarm. And then, uh, glower, glower, meteor, meteor. Yippee, skippy. Whoop de doo. Ugh. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm still okay with that. Uh, am I? I'm gonna have to be. Yeah, this is going to be a, a two mapper. Uh, which means we'll be uh, probably having a very fun time with the final map. <laughs> uh, and then we'll start the next one, so here we go. What am I gonna do? I don't know. I have no idea. Uh, 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 uh we don't have to fight Garnuff, surprisingly enough. Uh, what I do want to do is... We have, I think, nine or eight, eight or nine more uses, eight more on Fortify. I don't want to use Fortify too often during this fight. Um, at least, at the very least, I want to use it less than, um, <laughs> less than four times. Um, and also, what worries me is that, uh, Cycler's written 24 slash endgame. Is 24 slash endgame one map or two maps? Is it 24 and endgame going one into the other like they like to do sometimes? Or is it just 24, uh, which is endgame? I, I think it's just 24 is endgame, but I'm not sure. Um, Nagi, Midia, uh, okay, I, I think, I think we're good in terms of, well, no, we're not. Because I know some people need some re-ups on their stuff. Like, you need a new Silverlands, let's be honest. Huh? <clears throat> Uh, can we merge Silverlance with, uh, we're not using you. I'm okay with that. Uh, we unfortunately don't have any more of that. Uh, that's fine. Uh, so that's okay. Wish we had another Dragon Pike, but it is what it is. Can I merge? Uh, I was hoping I could merge Wingspur with the other one. Um, Tragic Catria. Yeah, you'll be alright. Uh, you... Admittedly, you should probably merge your Psychics. I guess merge all of them together. Uh, we got ten more Psychic uses for the rest of this game. Who boy! <laughs> oh, man. Alright, okay, great. Uh, you... Your Javelin broke, so I need to get you another Javelin from the inventory. Um, which is great, because at some point we were really struggling for Javelins, and I said, we're just buying a bunch of them. Uh, someone I think should probably take the Killer Lance, and I'll be frank, maybe it should be you. Because I think you have slowly turned into the best one, except in terms of defense. Your defense has become trash. But every other stat that you have is high. Is relatively high. So I am going to... This ain't bad either. It ain't. It ain't bad either. I'm gonna give you this. You're gonna have it. That's that's on you. Uh, in case of emergency, you can be our Killer Lance user. Um, you're fine. You still can't use a Silver Lance, which is almost funny to me. 
but it's also kind of sad. <laughs> uh, I know I have some, like, short uses ones. Yeah, give me this. And, uh, I don't know if we're bringing you. We're bringing the both of you. There's some other ones down here. Yeah, merge that. Um, not you're fine. We should probably merge those two. Oh, we have a two over here. Thank you. Um, I feel like I should have been merging a lot more often. Does our girl have a, um, a vulnerable on her? Because she might not. Paula? Yeah, you do. Okay. Great. Uh, you don't have one. And I think you should use one. Because you, you are great. And I will be sticking you in danger, <laughs> notably very soon, I'm sure. Um, admittedly, you can store this and this. Uh, you can probably pick up a a three here, and you should probably pick up a different type of lance. I think I'm willing to give you the brave lance. Um, okay. Okay. Because Paula doesn't need the Brave Lance, although... Uh, maybe the Brave Lance isn't a bad shot. Because sometimes I'm like, man, I wish you could just hit twice. If the Brave Lance is always hidden twice. Uh, what's the 13 might... We could, like, kit out one of the Brave Lances, but I'm not sure if that's what we need to do. Uh, what do we have here? 3,000 gold... Admittedly, forging the wing spur, I don't know if it's even worth it anymore. Uh... Yeah, we'll be alright. The thing is, I don't think my big ba my big tanky boys are good anymore. <laughs> like, they were great in the first uh, game, but now we have so many mages in this one, it's just not uh, applicable to use them. Uh, fight. I think that's where we are right now. We'll save and then we'll fight. Uh, how long have we been going right now? 24? Yeah, this is just, uh, this will be a, uh, <laughs> this will be a short, uh, a short one. Not a short one at all, actually. It'll be just a two-mapper. It'll be a regular one. Um. We save there. We want to, uh, we could go to the drill grounds, but I don't know if that's the, the best decision in the world. Like, we could... Uh, no, 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 no. Yeah, we're fine. I could... Like, we could do that for what's-her-face, but no. Um, <clears throat> save one more time. Uh, view the map. Make sure we have people where I want them to be. Uh, This map is going to have reinforcements, I feel like it. I want you there. I want... Really, I want you there. Maybe even Catra should be there. Or EST. Because EST could maybe get a level off of that. So I'm going to put you there. Uh, and that's where we're going to start, I think. Here's the thing. I'm willing to waste a turn, but we'll see how it goes. So you've come, boy. How many times must you get in my way? Enough, I tire of our games. Garnef, what have you done with my sister and the others? Release them at once. <laughs> I've allowed them in honor of being sacrifices for the Shadow Dragon's resurrection. You will never see them again. Say goodbye. Emperor Medius will soon be reborn in his true form in the darkest form, and they will usher in a new era. Tis a pity their souls couldn't bear the suffering and shattered into pieces. Even I am powerless to help them. Shame, really, I have to thank them for the Shadow Dragon's awakening. Not even the Binding Shield can stop him now. I applaud you for coming this far, but Little Prince, you will go no further. I will kill you here, and you will die knowing that you are nothing. Well, I can't, I can't let that happen, because then it'll just be a game over. And, come to me. Ooh, they're strong, but they have, like, no hit. Uh, if you could, if you could go again, thank you. Okay, so, so that's, okay, that's, that's noted. Uh, man, she's great. Excellent, so that one's gone. <sighs> it's 
so those are fortifies that we just can't deal with. Huh? Are we gonna get reinforcements? Uh, admittedly? Cause like, we could just hold out here and wait for them to continue coming down and we can just take them out, uh, bit by bit. Uh, board by board. Uh, admittedly, I feel like we should probably have you, uh, take out one of them at the very least. Uh, starting with, uh, ooh, that's gonna KO. Ooh, ah, uh, uh, that, that's our answer, I think. Um, but don't crit. Good, because now you can come over here and you do need to get some levels, so let's start by just doing that and starting to get some levels. <laughs> um... Oh, you do have a mend on you. For some reason I was like, did I not give you a mend? That would have been a mistake on my part. Uh, great. You're almost level 20, which is kind of cool. Um, I would like to keep our Meteor Gang on the rise there so that I kind of have an idea of what we're dealing with. Um, you can wait. Ooh, don't like that. Uh, you can go there. Yeah, or well, you can... Oof, I don't know if you should wait there. You can wait there. Who's on this side? Paula, where's Catria? Oh, right there. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, you to here. I want to leave that spot open for you to come up and maybe get a KO. Uh, so for right now, this is fine. As long as we don't get reinforcements like every two turns. Good. Good level up for you. Or okay level up for you. It's not like good good. Oh, uh, everyone's dodging, which is great. That's fine. So okay, so they all went down too. That's not <laughs> ideal, but uh here. We can take out this guy without alerting the meteor. Um very good, Nagi. Getting your level ups. Honestly, it wouldn't have been bad to bring Tiki on this one. Um But now we do have some some work to do, unfortunately. We might not have that much work to do. Because EST can come over here and start to pop with the javelin. Uh, you can just step back. You can continue to just get it some experience. I was going to say you didn't get the kill there. That's unfortunate. Uh, resistance up. I'm okay with that. It wasn't magic like I wanted, but you know what? Resistance, we'll take it. Um, Catcher, your level 18. Go for it, fine. Why not? Uh, I guess I could have had you do that. No, I couldn't have. You could have. But you don't really need it. Uh, you... I, I, we probably should give you a javelin. Since you can't use a silver uh, lance, this will probably get you closer. At least you'll be hitting shots. Do we have another love and sword? I figured we did, but maybe we don't. <clears throat> no, it's it's probably in here somewhere. <clears throat> Master sword, you can't even use this, my guy. Yeah, you use that. Uh, attack. <laughs> Gosh darn it, Martha. I mean, use it anyway, just see what happens. At least, I think he gets some, some, some boost from that, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Um, Aurora, need, we'll need to, to kind of be over here. Yeah, see if you can get your Aurora's axe. Sure does. Aurora, 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 wee! <laughs> Alright, uh, Paula can come over here and pop that, or could... Uh, that's not what I wanted to do. Um, that's unfortunate. <laughs> If we lose on this turn, that's the reason. And that's the reason why, because I misclicked. Whoops. That's all I can really say. Okay, well, that's what I expected. Oh, are they going to come and attack her? No, it doesn't look like it. Uh, that makes sense. But they both can't hit her, so it's whatever. Uh, that's going to be a free level up for our friendo. Good dodge. Oh my gosh, look at them. They're both so low. Oh, well, not anymore. Yeah, I mean, they're both still very low. I think you can actually still... Oh, you can't hit these ones, because they have high resistance, don't they? Yeah, they got 14 resistance. Oh, that's tragic. Um, what if I use Starlight? 
No, okay. Great. Starlight has a good chance to crit. Uh, here. That's fine. EST. You still need the level, so I mean, like, that's even better. Uh, so go ahead and do that. Because that'll get you a level up. Is that 16? Yep. And not the best level up. I would have liked to... I don't think you can get more speed, actually, so that might have been a good level up. I was hoping for more defense. But your defense is almost on par with uh, Catrius, so maybe that's not too bad. Uh, great. Uh, you are... <laughs> yeah, Paula, I guess you come all the way over here. Um, or wait, because I think Minerva might be able to... Yeah, hold on. Um, I'm going to send you away. I'm going to have Minerva come up here with the Javelin. And try and hit both of these shots. If you don't hit both, uh, Paula's going to have to come and finish it. Good job. Because um, even those little shots... Yeah. Because I think she's the, uh, the underleveled one. And that's such a good level up, too. Okay, great. Uh, someone needs to come and heal her. <laughs> and nobody can. And I'm not going to waste a psychic this turn, so it is what it is. Uh, I will pop a mend on you, though. Uh, where's the first heal? Or spot there? Okay, so we have no more dragons in place. Uh, which <laughs> worries me, because now I'm like, oh, okay, well, very clearly we're about to have some shenanigans, aren't we? Uh, so you're going to come up. Nagi will most definitely come up. Uh, here's the thing, I think we can just kind of walk to this uh, safe area, and then we'll be straight, unless there's reinforcements, and that is <laughs> is the, the, the real kicker. If we have reinforcements that come from the bottom, like this turn, uh, Katarina might die. Okay. Um... Somebody can get up there. Uh, that being said, I'm gonna send you over here, because you do need a heal. Uh, I'm gonna send Marth here, I guess. And I guess he can be the first one to cause a save, and I don't know if I'd really like that. Put that there. And that is get ready for it. Uh, boom. Got a save state going there. Um... Here, I, I, I do kind of want to push you up, but I also want to, like, take a peek at what we have here. Also, the fact that we have a safe state here and we don't, and another one immediately right here is what also really worries me. <laughs> it worries me to no end. Um, but I, I feel safe enough to put you there and you there. Um, you can come over here with a mend. On Catria. Uh, Sita can come here, I suppose. We're gonna get reinforcements, and I, I know that to be true, and I'm... I'm prepared in a sense. We do have flyers, so they can just kind of wait in the gap. Can they wait in the gap? They should be able to wait in this gap. Unless this gap just doesn't exist, I don't know. Nothing. Oh, okay. Hold on. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. No reinforcements. All right. Huh. Okay. Okay. Now, here's the thing. Glower, glower, swarm, swarm. Um, I'm going to keep these two highlighted. Uh, but it's, it's becoming less important to keep them highlighted. It's going to become more important uh, to keep you... You both have Fortify, and on this side, you both have Fortify, so that's less important. They don't- I don't need to worry about them. I do need to worry about now you and you. Uh-huh. And a flip-flop between that and that. Uh, so... Now we have our Rangers selected in terms of magic range and then everybody else. Um... What are you? So you're down the middle. So if I have you and you, you have a regular range for magic, right? If you have a regular range for magic, I'm gonna do this. Uh, and I'm gonna do this. You're already equipped with that. 
<clears throat> you're gonna be waiting here because we're about to have some dragons ahoy I assume um admittedly I guess you can go here and then fly back in I'm okay with you going here just so we have more space at the bottom here um I'm honestly uh, uh, close to okay with just saying hey Papo vulnery on there um we have four spots left up there, and there are four of us left, so we might as well just... One. A two. A three. The thing is, if we get reinforcements from the side hallways there, uh, I could see... Ooh, okay. I guess you're gonna be outside of the range there. Uh, and Marth, you just wait. Reinforcements, left, right, left, right? No? Okay. Uh, they also didn't come and attack us, which I don't like. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm not a fan of that. Uh, and wait, you're gonna come and get me now? Oh, I really don't, because they're wasting turns, and that uh, concerns me. Um, because that hurts, because that does hurt. And you can't quite get there. Uh, I'm gonna do that and see if they come to us. Okay. So you got the move, you got the move first. That's good. Now, what happens with the rest of this? <laughs> and what, what's the level up? Okay, good, 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 okay. Now do the rest of the move, so it's a matter of, oh boy. Well, we'll be going back for Nagi. I'm sorry, I can't help any longer. Yeah, you can, I'm, we'll, we'll, we'll be coming back for you. Ma'am, <laughs> ma'am, we will be coming back for you. Uh, I'm gonna, we'll be right back. We got the same formation. Um, that being said, it might be better to, if we can't get her to survive that. Uh, cause you have, I, I'm, I'm realizing that that little bit of speed that Sita doesn't have, or rather that Paula doesn't have, is really stopping her from doing the damage that we need her to do here. Um... And I have to also keep in mind that that's our, our little window. Um, but getting back here is actually extremely easy because when we saved, we were we were pretty goaded. Okay, so that's good. That's uh, that's exactly kind of what I wanted. Uh, they're going to have to survive quite a few attacks. Um, that's that's not quite what I wanted, but it is what it is. Um, you are going to have to use a fortify, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, Will you? Hold on. Yeah, you will, because we... Well, hold on. Yeah, 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 you will. Uh, Swarm is our biggest enemy this this turn. Uh, so we will we will fortify... Do we fortify yet, though? No. Uh... <sighs> yeah, I get that. And you got the okay, yeah. Nope, that's our that's our move. Huh? That is that's our move. Unfortunately, that is our move. Um, so we'll have to pop one fortify, which means I want to use less. <laughs> hopefully, n not more than two more. Well, I don't want them both attacking Aurora. Um. So the dragons won't be able to get to us. So we could bait some of these swarms. Is is what I what I'm what I'm seeing here. Um go to there. We're gonna get reinforcements soon. I I know it. It's a fire it's fire emblem, it's fire emblem, it's gonna happen. Uh Midia. I think I'm gonna have you bait the other side. You, I really want you to get in here the next turn and try and KO one of these dragons, but I don't know if that's going to be uh, uh, anything we're going to be able to do. I'm going to try and maybe... You might be the one to swarm on that side, but we definitely need you to special and use one of our fortifies. That is if we don't have to redo all of this, which is fine. This is just our... Meteor is what I was not realizing. Oh, no. That could be curtains. Because now we have two meteors, and that's... Oh, gonna take her down to two. Okay. 
so we have to redo this is what i'm is what i'm hearing yes okay so yeah that's bad that's 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 uh that's really bad um how would the, the rest of it go the rest of it kind of went well, how i wanted it to that's that's nice um okay so she would have died that's fine but that's because paula wouldn't have been there uh and she would have just barely lived so these dragons are kind of tough is what i've learned all right we're going back <laughs> But hold on, do we get any reinforcements? No, we didn't get any reinforcements. They all start to move down. Did Garnif also start to move down? Ooh, boy. Ooh, okay, okay. So, um, that's really bad. I understand what, what the, the badness is happening here. Oh, man. And we don't have a warp staff. Uh, well, while we're here, uh, so now I realize you might need to be like closer in this action because that's when this man starts to move down and when that man starts to move down uh his range is is big and and bad <laughs> his range is big and bad <laughs> oh no oh no oh no in this case i think we need to like drag them down um <sighs> okay all right well that's actually good insight that's good insight i need to like the, I think the, 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 the strategy here is to just uh, uh, aggro them and then bring them down. Okay, so I think the game recognizes that reinforcements would be unfair here. So, there is another option that I have just pondered. And that is boosting your resistance even more. Uh, so, if we use one of these... Uh, and, end And next turn, use this... Because you are there to bring th them in. What? Oh, so there are reinforcements. Oh, that's really bad. Oh, that's so awful. That's terrible. That's the worst thing that could have happened. How did that... H how? Wait, hold on. Even with that extra, you're still doing all of that? Oh my gosh. She's still gonna die. She has so much resistance and they still cut through her. Does Glower like hit dragons harder or something? Does it? How do I read your items? I don't know. I'm, uh, I thought I had something there. Man, okay, I have one last idea, but I don't know if I'm gonna be ex able to execute it this turn. Uh, retrieve. We have a barrier staff. Do barrier staves and magic water stack? I don't think we need rescue this turn. I need someone to rescue me, but it is what it is. Uh, if we... Can I not bury your staff, uh... The homie? Nagi? Why not? Is it because of where I'm standing? No, because I can bury staff all the way out here. Wait, did I click the wrong... Did I get the wrong one? I think I clicked the wrong one. Maybe? Special? Oh, no. Barrier is adjacent. Oh, so to, to do that, you would have to be put in the face of danger. Ah, oh, well, you got 20 resistance. Now you're at 18. Uh, okay, I'm about to do some some shenanigans right here. Uh, retrieve. Uh, I, yeah, yeah, pure water. And I'm gonna have you run an errand up here. Uh, no, I'm gonna have you, uh, trade 
there. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yes. But you can't trade again. So what we're gonna have to do is trade here. Trade with Paula. We'll just take that. We'll use that. So you should go up to like 28. Oh, it does not stack, it doesn't look like. Because you should have gone up to like 28. I don't know if that's going to do it. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. This will be the turn that we'll need to see. I don't- so like, I think not doing things in a certain amount of time. Uh, like, you'll only take one damage there and that's great. Uh, but I still think that the, she's going to take like 18 or something damage to you. Does it like negate? Yeah. Does, what is Glower? I think my non-understanding of what Glower specifically does is my, my downfall. Uh, so you know what, just for everybody's sake. Uh, what does Glower do? Glower negates the resistance of the target in question and alongside the fact that it has a highly fa a fairly high might uh, is rather accurate. This is effectively makes it a yes. So it just negates resistance. Uh, I was like, it's either powerful against dragons or resistance doesn't matter. Which is uh, broken, I think, but it, whatever, I guess. Negates enemies' resistance. That's uh, bull a little bit, but you know what? No, yeah, it's just, it's just bull. That, that's where I am at this point. Ugh. Because really, she'd be great. She'd be A-OK. -okay. Um, but we have to deal with two of those guys. And you know what? I might have another idea. I might have one more idea. So, wait, for, wait a second. Okay, so hear me out. <laughs> I think we might need to start using our rescue staff. Because what I'm thinking about doing is... I think popping, I think popping you no matter what is going to break out our, um, break, make those guys come down. And I'm more than willing to, to do that, um, to, I don't know where they would stick you is the real question. Well, I'm going to have you come up, you to there and probably you to there. Because now we don't have to deal with the dragon anymore. Um, you can move up one, and I'm going to have you now. And you know what? Maybe we won't be using rescue all that often now that I'm thinking about it. Let's send Paula back towards us. And let's see how this next turn goes. Yes, I think that might have to be our solution, unfortunately. Because uh, I don't think... Oh, well, now you miss... Is that going to send all of them down, including the the homies at the top? No. And I think that is actually our solution. We have to just kind of game the system with stabs. Um, I mean, not for nothing. You should probably just beat it. Um, uh... Once again, I care less about you and you now. I care more about you and you. Uh, and since that's the case, I'm going to send you here to take care of that. Taking care of business. Excellent. Okay, so now we're we're doing some 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 something good. It's the best of both worlds. Um, I was going to say you can't get quite far enough to to get another level up there, which is unfortunate, but. Uh, beggars can't be choosers, and uh, at this point in time, I'm sure begging. Um, now I kind of do want you guys to be selected too. Um, at this juncture in time, this is probably the best decision. But, 
We could attack from a distance, potentially get a crit. No, but that sends you to 25, which is fine. Um, I was going to say, not many other people can get over there, but Aurora can. And could use the Aurora Axe. Maybe something else? Maybe anything else? No, you might not be... See, I like... I, can't, I, I don't want to, like, super duper rely on the Aurora Axe. Uh, but, like, I mean, like, it's... How many more uses do we have on it? Oh, we only used it once? Yeah, go ahead. Why not? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Why not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we... <laughs> Level 19. All right, good on you. Okay, just luck. Well, I guess you're maxed out on a bunch of things that I care about, so it doesn't really matter all that much. Uh, you... Come over here. Someone is gonna have to do do something. I think we're all really good on health, which is nice. Um, that being said, uh, you come here. You mend here. Very good. Thank you and thank you. And just real quick, undo and undo. Okay. Don't quite end the turn yet. Put you here. Okay, so those guys do still start to come up. Still not entirely sure what caused them to do that, but uh, we'll figure it out eventually, I guess. <laughs> right? <laughs> uh, we'll see. Now, here's the thing. Like, those guys are... The meteor's a problem, right? But, like, so is... Everything else over here, you know what I'm saying? You, do you do you hear? Do you do you see what I see? Murder, murder, deep inside my soul. Okay. Uh. That's okay. So we don't have to deal with any swarm, but we are definitely going to have to deal with meteor. So I don't know how we're gonna game the system here, but we're gonna have to find a way, as the kids say. Um, we've got two dragons. Uh, but the thing is, I think we are gonna have to like it. Try and get. Uh, man, I really, really don't want to uh, send Marth right there. So I'm gonna send. Uh, I'm gonna send Katria here. Because Katri has the best chance of survival, I guess. Uh, get us another save state here, I guess. Oh, uh, it's getting dicey, you guys. It's getting dicey. Um, here, we'll put you there, and we'll see how this goes. Because I don't believe in this save state. I think this is, uh, this, this, we're about to have a problem. Uh, to say the least. Uh... And more importantly, you're going to have to kind of be uh, in the pit of danger. At least you'll have to be right there. And he will have to come, like, first. Ah, we'll see how it plays out. 62. Come on, miss. Okay, it hit. That's bad. Uh, that's less bad, because they're not both hitting. Okay, that could be not good. Uh, 21 might be death. Oh, you dodged it, my girl. I guess you say what could make me feel this way. Okay, well, that's not good. Uh, they haven't moved. The The folks in the top haven't moved yet. I think they only move when, 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 when that can happen. So... Um, that's a really good question, isn't it? <laughs> uh, so this is a 1 to 2 range, so if I wanted to, to goat you down, I could do this. Uh, that, that could be our answer. <laughs> and unfortunately, that may be our answer. Um, and we did just save, and things are going okay. Um, that being said, people have to move. Um, and that is our dilemma. <laughs> our dilemma is people can't just stay where they are. <laughs> our dilemma is people have to move. Um... Nagi, you gotta do that. Uh, I think you have to do this. And honestly, you go ahead and take this. And survive. Paula, where are you? Because I think you need to... 
Uh, I guess I'll be the one to do this. A dragon pike there, and you can finish it there for the experience. Uh, great. Um, you're gonna have to come up as far as you can without dying, which is here, and I need you to fortify. And that's actually the first fortify we've used on this uh, run of this uh, this map, which is great. Um, we can have some people like go all the way up in this corner, um, which I think might be. Not, maybe not for the best, but it's something. It sure is something. Um, okay, so you're out of range of that one, and you're out of range of that one, however... Uh... I admittedly believe that you probably need to be, like, in this corner. Because you're a better target for that. You're a better target for this, and you guys can still make it through. Um, I'm gonna have you come over here, just in case, and you come over here, just in case. And you know what? Whatever happens, happens at this point. Uh, because <laughs> Mark's gonna have to run in, because we're about to get flanked from the back. Uh, let's see how it goes. Oh, they keep spawning. Even better. Oh, they're there now, too. Oh, oh, all right. Awesome. My favorite. My favorite thing is happening. Uh, 26, Minerva, but nobody else can hit you. Uh, maybe I spoke too soon. Why can you both hit there? I may have just been wrong. Uh, let me see how the rest of this plays out. Hehehe, <laughs> perhaps a taste of Umhulu's might is necessary. Oh, you still have the other one equipped. Okay, so even even then, everything that happened there was okay. Except for Minerva dying. So I need to do a, a better job of seeing uh, where these two cross. So right now, I don't care about that. Uh, both of these cross at that point. If I had put her here instead, we would have been in better shape. So I have that in my mind now. I need to make sure that you have the, the, the right one equipped. And we might be able to just barely scooch out of this. I know that these guys are swooping in from behind us, but they don't have great movement speed. Uh, but they do have Glower, and that's really bad now that I know what it does. <laughs> so, let's go back. Or, since his movement speed is not as good as I thought, and that corner is not covered, uh, we could do that. Bait out that one on that side. Aurora's still gonna take the other one on the other side, I believe. Uh, you do that there, you pop there, you come to here, and then you snap there. So you are gonna hit Minerva, you both can't hit Minerva, you're probably gonna go there to Nagi, which is a great, ideal in fact, you're gonna go there, Nagi will take care of you, uh, I'm Hulu Bear hasn't come down. Which is to be expected. Um, that's fine. Great. Uh, I mean, you'll survive with a vulnerary, I think. So yeah, let's just vulnerary the both of you. A little too. I think just barely you'll survive with the vulnerary. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Will you? No, I don't know if you will. Uh, <laughs> I'm not entirely sure that you will. Um, now, here's the thing. I am worried less about these two now. Because um, I know who they're going to hit. Uh, <laughs> what I think I need to worry about instead is... Uh, Loring Garnuffin. That's the number one stunner. Um... And I think I have this correct now, because Starlight is equipped, that was my bad. Uh, pure Water, use that. Because he still hurts. He doesn't still, he does indeed still hurt. Um, I'm going to put you here. And Stav of Special. And I guess you fortify in case something dumb happens. Make sure everybody's at their peak. Uh, you can come over here. They're gonna, in the next turn, they're gonna be real close. So I'm gonna, like, send everybody up as much as they can go without, uh, immediately perishing. Um, 
You have 10 resistance. They both can't hit you from here, correct? Or rather, the right one can't. I just The right one is what I need to see. So you to there. Uh, and Paula to here. Because the right one can't hit there. It's just the one spot that the right one could have hit. I, I, I tossed somebody there. And that was my bad. Um, so the way that we're settled right now, I have firm belief that we'll be okay. Now here's the thing. <clears throat> I do need to peek at Glower because they suck. Uh, and the only person who could get hit by that is her. And I think Garnef is going to come down first because that is how his AI works. At least from what I've seen so far. New friends, yay! New friends there too, whoop de doo Go ahead, Minerva. That's fine. Go ahead to Aurora. That's fine. Now you. This is where things get a little... Not dicey, but we have to like... <laughs> we have to not be lucky. We have to... 27% uh, chance to crit. Oh boy, you, you kind of have to crit at some point. You have speed, right? Oh yes! Come on, come on, come on. That's not enough. But if you can hit twice, if you have the speed on him, you don't. So we're just going to have to attack one more time. And that's... Oh no, he's going to be at full. He's going to be at full. Because the other one's going to heal again, right? No, the other one didn't heal again. I thought that they were... Is the other one out? No, the other one just didn't do it. The other one believes in us. <laughs> It wants us to have the chance. Plus 10 avoidance. Uh, we have to... He has to... There has to be a crit here. Unless... Do we have the again staff? We might have to pop the again staff if you don't crit. At this point in time, if you don't get the again staff... We're still... I don't need a foot. Ugh. Undo, undo. Uh, don't worry about Meteor right now. I need to worry about you guys in the back. What's your range? Because we're going to have to start sending people up. Not, We're still okay on that front. On that front, we still have a little bit of wiggle room and just a little bit. Um, how much do you hit for? 17. So she would live. Uh, and we're just hoping for a crit. No crit. Which means we are going to have to pop the again staff somehow. Uh, we still have it, right? Store. Psychic. Retrieve. Again. Because you have to. You have to use again. And the game knows it. The game said, yeah, we know. Oh, man. Go one more time. You have a 100% chance to hit, right? Yeah, that's it. Okay. That's finished. Heh heh heh, you're too late, the end is nigh. Okay, okay. Still have one more use on the again staff, should we come to that emergency. Okay. Go, go, yeah, we got Falchon, fantastic. Okay, 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 okay. Just put that in the convoy, who needs that? Uh, I guess we do, eventually. Um, so, here's the thing. <laughs> Martha, uh, is what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If we can defeat the both of these guys, I think we can just win the map. Unless I can't count. So, that's 26 on us. We'll live. Uh, I'm okay with you. Can you can you do the thing? Yeah, I'm okay with you doing the thing. 27, we would not die. Great. Now, here's the thing. Did I count right? I did. This one was better than the last one, but man, <laughs> hey, you know what? You earned it. You are the MVP of the map. Um, Marth, in this episode. Seize. Don't attack. Seize. <sighs> Nobody died. Sire, this way. There's stairs here leading up. Yeah, please. <laughs> please save it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> In game, so it is just the final chapter. 
I think we're going to, like, take an in-depth look at the final chapter probably next time so that we have, like, the full encapsulation. Because usually I, I peek at it for, like, 20 to 30, <laughs> for, like, 20 minutes. So, like, if I go there and we do this, or the final battle is nigh and Medius waits ahead, huh? It won't be an easy battle. I dare not imagine how many of us will be left standing at the end. I hate that. Either way, the fate of the world rests in our hands, huh? Sire, worry not, sire. We will emerge victorious. That's what the fortune teller said. Fortune teller? When I was a child, I asked our village's fortune teller for a reading. The old lady held the palm of my hand and said to me, Ah, your fate is clear to me, child. <laughs> and what did she say? <clears throat> she said that I would devote my life to the service of others. Oh, I can imagine that happening. Well, I mean, like, that's what's happening right now, to be honest. Uh, the fortune's already come true. You could still die. <laughs> And she said that I'd live until I was a hundred years old. Till a hundred? That's an awfully long time. <laughs> old Rora. <laughs> old Roro. <laughs> a Roro old? <laughs> oh, I see. If the fortune teller was right, then... Then we are definitely walking out of this hall victorious. I'm not quite that old yet. <laughs> I'm 97. <laughs> so rest easy, sire. <laughs> Haha, <laughs> you're quite right. I feel much calmer now. Thank you, Roro. A, a Roro? A, you know what? A Roro. Okay, so, um... Yeah, we're done. We're, we're done. We're done. Because this is going to take a minute, isn't it? Uh, oh, boy, yeah, this is 100% going to take a minute. Oh, yeah. Alright, look at all those dragons. That's, that's awesome that that's happening. Um... Cool. Because... Uh, oh, well, there's all of our friends. Well, how do we save them very quickly? I don't think we were going to be able to save them very quickly. Um, this map's going to be hard. Yeah, it's going to be hard. Yeah, it's going to be hard. Um, here. One more thing. Let me see if all the bishops are uh, recruitable. So here's the thing. We have to have Minerva, Sirius, Merrick, which is really bad because he's not trained. Um, and Julian, which is really bad. So we have to bring two folks who are probably some trash. And yeah, look at that. All four of them. Okay, so let's look at our situation with Merrick and Julian. Julian, level 6. Like a legit level 6. Thief. Yikes. Great. Uh, Merrick, I think, is slightly better. Level 14. Mage. Uh, I mean, I guess that we could, we could, we could boost his stats with a... We got some Master Seals, right? He can use that. Yeah, that's that's something. If we're gonna have to bring him along. <sighs> I'd like to save them all. I would. <laughs> if I had known that Merrick was gonna be needed in this final fight, I probably would have done better. Um, use. He's gonna die. Sure is. He's a dead man. He's a dead man walking. Um. I guess we could use the rest of our stuff in the drill grounds to try and get him up to speed. Okay, so hear me out. Where the heck is Merrick? So, here's the other thing. Um. If there's no reinforcements, I think we might be able to do this. But, uh, <laughs> it's gonna be tough. Because we have all dragons. <laughs> it's like, it's like, um, you know, um, the Captain Crunch cereal oops all berries, except it's oops all dragons. And that's uh, unfortunate. <laughs> so what we're gonna have to do is, um, I think we send, so if we send Julian in, he's gonna die. <laughs> He's gonna save Lena, and then Lena's gonna die. Although, that's not entirely true. If he saves, we would have to. The, the there's had there would have to be like, oh, uh, does one you you guys have actual magic attacks? Oh man. 
They do. They all have actual magic attacks. So hear me out. Here's what we're gonna have to do. And I think I kind of understand how this works. Um, <clears throat> I'm sure it's just defeat Medius. Um, I think we have to clear all of these dragons out for the most part. And hope that we don't get reinforcements from the back. But you know, since there's a big old, old, old opening right here, I assume we get reinforcements from the back. Um, cause they're not gonna make this final map easy. Cause why would they? Uh, this, this right here enough is not easy, but it is what it is. Um, Nagi has to come. But also, we would have to think about who we sit out. Um... Maybe Katarina sits out? Midi, I think, definitely sits out. And Midi has to sit out for... Uh, I guess Julian. Where's Jay? Where, where's Julian? He should be all the way down here. There he is. Uh, and... Uh... Sirius has to come. Minerva, Sirius, Julian, and... America. Um. Man. Uh, if Merrick is coming, at least we have some more stab utility, so that's something. That's uh, an additional plus. Um. If Minerva has to come, Maculus is already set out, so that sucks. Um, EST. Everyone else is kind of an essential part of me sending people in and hoping for the best. Uh, Katarina's the only one who I think we could sit out and be like, I guess America can be in here instead of Katarina. Um, has essentially the same types of, uh, books, but does not have the same type of, uh, stab. That's bad. We could sit out somebody from... We can't sit you out. We can? We just can't sit Martha out. Aurora could just not go. Aurora's coming. Um... Aurora and Paula both are definitely coming. Ugh. This is rough. I don't know who we would sit out at this juncture. I think it would have to be Katarina for Merrick, but Merrick's also not great here first. Merrick's here, right? Level one. I kinda wanna compare him, because I think he did have like, he started off with some stacked magic, right? 10. No, I'm wrong. <laughs> it's still like five less than her. Which ain't that bad considering that she's got 13 levels on him. Maybe I will just stick him in the in the in the thing for a while. Uh, because at this juncture, I guess most of the items in our inventory we don't need. Like if we went to Armory and we wanted to sell and go to the convoy. Uh, we could sell most any- we don't need any more Master Seals, actually. Yeah, we don't. Because we can't reclass Julian, right? That would be dope, but I don't think we can reclass a Thief. I'm pretty sure we can, in fact. Uh, correct? Yeah. Yeah. So in that case... Yeah, we would just be selling, and before I do any random selling, I am going to save... Uh, over here. And let's think. I want to think a little bit, and that's how we'll, we'll end this episode. Uh, so when we get, come in for this, this, this final one, we'll be fresh, we'll be ready. Um, I think we sell our Master Seals. Because that's going to give us some funds. <clears throat> and we sell some of the stuff that we're not going to use. Like, we don't need all of these vulnerabilities. I think we'll make sure everyone has one. <clears throat> and we'll sell the rest. Um, there's no more keys, to my knowledge, so I think we sell all of these. Um, I don't know if resistance is gonna be useful. I think, the, maybe it will, so I might keep barrier. Uh, we don't need, I don't, I don't think we're gonna use any regular heal stabs anymore. I don't think we're gonna use this firestone at this point, so we'll sell that. Um, most of these, I don't think we're gonna use. In fact, we have two of those. I think anything that we have duplicates of in terms of, like, certain things we will get rid of. Like, I'm, we're probably not going to use Bla Blizzard. Uh, maybe not Shaver. We have three Thunders. And we have Thoron now, so I don't think we're ever going to use these Thunders. And I'm just going to use this money to try and train, um... Ooh, I forgot we had that. Um, try and train our homies. Uh, we have all these bows. Uh, I need to remember if the dragons are weak to bow, because if they are, maybe we want to bring some archer. Um, if not, we can sell every single one of these bows, and that's a lot of money. Uh, and then there's a chance that we can get our homie up high. 
Uh, we don't have to deal with any more armored units. So I feel okay selling that. Against cavalry, devil axe, oh, we can't sell that for any money, unfortunate. Uh, silver axes, we don't need this many because we only have like two people using axes. Um, so I'll probably sell some of those. We don't need all of these steel axes. Uh, there's one use left on that. Honestly, shockingly enough, we don't need these wing spurs. We'll probably get rid of one of them. Um, so I'm going to sit down and do some selling. I'm keeping all the silver lances and probably the steel lances, but I think we're going to get rid of all the iron ones. Um, and then swords. Yeah, we just never really utilize swords like I feel like we should, but it is what it is. <laughs> I feel like lances are just overall better than swords in my opinion, but uh, who knows. Uh, we did have silver swords though, unfortunately. We didn't get to use those. Um, and those are a thousand apiece. Yeah, like we have all this money now, out of nowhere. Um, and we have a ton of other stuff to sell. Uh, so... Yeah, we'll save it here. <laughs> we have three in-game saves, so hopefully all of the, um, all the footage is okay. <laughs> uh, drill grounds, no. Um, yes, actually. And I just want to see Merrick. And I might do the same a little bit for Julian. And I might give him a better book. But he's still actually, honestly, pretty good against this guy. Yeah, I think I might spend some time just training this guy up. I might train Merrick up and we might come back and he might be uh, like level 9 or 10 or something. Something like that. He might be up there. <laughs> and we'll have like no weapons left, but it is what it is. I'll equip everybody with what I think they need first. We'll sell some of the extra stuff and I'll use it to train Merrick so that he can survive because I think he will be... Uh, probably useful in this fight just not like the most useful and if he gets a lot to like resistance and if we have any more magic water i ought to keep that in mind because i definitely think we'll want to pop that onto um specifically merrick and the other boy but julian but one more thing um i think if we're able to view the map and clear out everyone and these are the last five enemies remaining i don't know if we'll ever get that lucky because i think we probably will have reinforcements um if we use those four characters so the four characters that wouldn't be attacking would be um minerva merrick sirius and julian right that leaves everybody else open for attack which is great um i'm not sure how strong he is very a good resistance good defense uh <laughs> so very um but uh admittedly uh i think we might want to have uh pegasus pegasus uh triangle attack and nagi and i am hoping that that's going to be enough and if it's not we do still have you and we needed to give you falchon Because that is in the... Uh, in here. Cool. That's where we are. Last time... Oh, and you know what? There is... We'll save it one more time here. Uh, there is a pretty decent chance... Uh, that I'm going to keep the again staff on you. Because if for some reason... Uh, <laughs> uh, that's why, that's why I really wanted Katarina here too, because Katarina could heal, uh, on that turn, but that's not going to be our, 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 unfortunately, not going to be a case. Uh, if there is a, a universe where we can have the, uh, triangle attack attack once, and it does, like, pretty decent damage, but, like, not enough, and we can triangle attack again, and actually get the KO, um, we should do that. That should be it. Uh, we don't have another Dragon Pike, which is unfortunate. Uh, I'm not sure if we have another use on Hammer, and I'm pretty sure we've used it all up. Um, I think I was like, oh yeah, we'll get one more Hammer, and easy peasy, but we didn't have a Warp Staff, so we won't be getting that. Um, I'll just double check, because I think I used it, but I'm not sure if I did. Just store that. You're not using any books, let's be honest. <laughs> Uh, speed healer, yeah, I don't think we have hammered anymore, so that's unfortunate. Um, okay, 
I'm I'm uh, not super duper worried about next time. Not as worried as I thought I was going to be. Uh, this looks bad, but I think we've been through worse. My only concern is trying to save all of you and reinforcements. <laughs> So that's where we are at this point. If we can save all of them and, you know, get some reinforcements, that's great. Uh, because in that case, we've only lost three players on this one, and it's- We haven't actually lost anyone, we just have- we didn't recruit three people. And I'm okay with that, that's a W in my book. Um, that being said, they're all like level one, three, five, and seven. So let's get them out of the way. In fact, it looks like they're real- honestly, their magic attacks aren't really going to hurt, even if they do hit us. Uh, so they're the least of our problems, but... Once again, it'll be, uh, hopefully one turn, we kill him. <laughs> That is the deal. Uh, so we'll probably do save, 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 save. Move them, move them, move them, move them. Attack, 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 attack. And maybe again staff. On either probably Paula or Katria, because I think the speed... No, none of them are going to outspeed him significantly enough to hit twice. Um... <clears throat> That's where we are at this point. He has 20% avoidance and plus two defense. That is also something that I'm seeing, so it's gonna be hard to hit him. Great, but I think, and that's one more thing that I wanna know. Triangle attack. <gasps> wait, wait a minute. I'm plotting ahead. Okay, <laughs> this is the last thing we're gonna talk about. Triangle attack, is that a guaranteed hit? Riddle me that. If it is, if it is, then uh, maybe we want to give Paula, who has the most strength out of all of them, correct? Paula, Catra, EST. EST's close, but we'll never actually uh, overcap Paula. Um, maybe we give Paula, like, the strength ring, and if I, we might as well, like, ring everybody out as well next time. Because um, <clears throat> we have no more usage for them. Um... We give Paula the killer lance that we gave EST. Because you have more strength. <clears throat> and we won't be able to hit him twice. Um, even though you have 26 speed, you're still one less speed than him. Um, if you use the killer lance, it should do more damage. In fact, maybe we even want to beef out this killer lance to just be uh, called like <laughs> the dragon slayer and give it a bunch of might and a bunch of extra hit uh give it to paula and have paula use that as the base for the triangle attack and if that triangle attack uh hits that's a guaranteed crit and that crit will be times four instead and if we beef up that lance it might be enough so that's where i'm sitting at this point we might have, triangle attack might be our best bet of winning in one turn. That being said, we also have Nagi who could potentially do some work. So we'll see. That's all that I have. Until next time. Um, toodaloo, flight crew. Uh, I think next time we'll be playing that map for a long time. This map for a, a hot minute. And if we don't, and we get a short episode, and then <laughs> we move on to the next game, next Fire Emblem Monday. Until then, toodaloo, flight crew. We are almost there. We are almost there. And you know what? It's it's weird because I see this map, and if I had more time, if the first map didn't take that long, because the second map actually didn't take me that too uh, too long. First map though, yikes! Uh, <laughs> yikes! Getting to that position. Um, it's just this one seems pretty clear cut, but I'm worried about reinforcements from the back. If there's reinforcements from the back, then I sense a lot of danger. Then I sense a whole lot of danger. <sighs> we'll see. We'll see. Uh, no mages to deal with, which is nice. Um, no glower, which is really nice. Uh, that's my new least favorite book. Um, all my homies hate glower. Yep, yep. That's that's what we're ending it off. All my homies hate glower. My least favorite book. Hated with a passion. Toodaloo, flight crew. Until next time for the finale. Thank you for watching.